Hey everybody, if you can hear me, give me a two. If you can hear me, give me a two. We are going to hop right into this. This is going to be a really, really uh, chill and laid back type of vibe today. I'm going to give people a chance to come in. The comment that you guys see here on the screen is from inside the seven day challenge. And today we are going to really, really go deep. So I didn't get a chance to put it up there, but if you are sensitive, exit now, because this is not the type of channel for somebody who is easily offended. All right. So again, let me know if you can hear me okay we're giving everybody a chance to get in here it was crazy y'all i was supposed to be with this live later on tonight and you guys were supposed to get a video on when um frizzy hair breaking down frizzy hair and the introduction to, oh you was thinking about me hey so i but anyway it was stuff it's like i'm i don't want to set myself up to be irritated so before anything happens like let's say my computer is still special and this video don't upload i at least have this video out of the way so i could just take a nap you know what are you sipping on let's see what are you guys sipping on what are you drinking if anything if anything i was sipping on my tea when i got the notifications oh yes right now uh i'm drinking chicory root and um dandelion root i believe it right okay so everybody, real quick, before we get started, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. So we, hey, boo. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. And there's so many new people here. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you. Mushroom coffee. Oh, you drink a mushroom coffee. Oh, you, oh, wait, you want your hibiscus? Okay. Your chicory root and dandelion root. I see you. Oh, your zen gum powder. I love you guys. Thank you so much for ordering for me. I appreciate it. Hey, Bill. Okay. So let's talk. If you have ever been still looking for a cosmetologist or looking for a hairstylist, or if you have had past experiences um, in dealing with cosmetologists that have made you feel like I'm done with hairstylists. I am done with cosmetologists. I'm never going back to the hair salon again. Give me a two if you feel that way, please. And to be honest, this is a, this is a safe place, okay? Right now, today, I am being, uh, I don't know, I don't know if accountable is the word that I'm looking for, but I'm being very transparent and very honest in saying that even though from the outside looking in, it looks as if all cosmetologists talk and I could tell y'all, oh, I know two great cosmetologists in every state. The world of cosmetology does not work like that. Wow. So a lot of you... this way okay so for the longest time i have been in this space where i didn't really understand I, I understood uh what you were saying but i hadn't had that experience and when i am in the shop though i've only worked around really really good cosmetologists and that's that's just my honest I've never been around. So the the reason that I'm bringing this up is because within my seven day challenge, right? Within the seven day challenge, it's not just oh, oh you take the seven day challenge and then you get this fresh 
that's it. You know, you get the information and I walk with you through. This is why we're going live today because this is a conversation that just took place within the seven day challenge today, right? So that's again why I'm putting it up on the screen for you guys. So it really, it really kind of threw me through a loop. Not that it's the first time that I've ever heard of this situation happening i'm sorry i'm going to it in my phone instead of looking at pictures um i it's not that i don't believe you guys but in my mind right i'm just let's just have a transparent moment can i have a transparent moment in my mind i just thought that it could be just your phone i don't know y'all if it's choppy there is nothing i could do okay this mic that I got is not cheap. The internet is paid. I don't I don't know. I pay all my bills on time. If it is choppy, let the spirit use you to figure out what I'm saying in between. There is nothing that I can do. I am sorry. Okay. And I don't, I don't, there's literally nothing I can do. Okay. It, are we okay? All right. So. <clears throat> This is, again, a comment inside of the seven day church. She said, I am so glad we have been educated because I just went for a hair consultation and the lady wanted to do an apple cider vinegar rinse on my hair. Now, I'll pause real quick before we hop into this. Before we hop into this. It's choppy. I don't understand why it's choppy. I really don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe the dusty people don't want this video out. So they all putting real loud and it's messing with the signal. I don't know. All right. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Hold on. Let me just make sure everything, everything plugged in. Your girl been going through stuff with electronics today, okay? So, but, 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 hey, stick with a player, all right? Stick stick with a player, okay? Stick with a player. Okay. Okay. Do y'all want to do this another day? Because if it's so choppy that y'all can't hear, then I don't want to keep talking. Oh, okay. Just roll with it because I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, because it's real gloomy outside today. I don't know. Y'all good? Because listen, player, because a player tired, and I could take a nap if it's too much for a player. Okay. Oh, I can keep going because Johnny, you're the one who brought it up, girl. Or boy, I can't see. I don't got my glasses on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So. It, within the seven day challenge, right? And this is not to promote the seven day challenge. Uh, stay with me. So within the seven day challenge, I, I have, a, there's a portion in there where I tell y'all like how to pick a stylist, like how, how to know what to look for. As I'm giving y'all this information, I'm not just, <laughs> I'm not just giving y'all this information so y'all can have like stuff to argue about on blog. No, I want to, equip you right i want to i want to equip you to know the difference between somebody that's playing in hair and somebody that really really <laughs> knows what they're doing no no naps no so this is what i'm doing all right so let's get back into it so she said i am so glad that we've been educated because i just went in for a hair consultation and the lady wanted to do an apple cider vinegar rinse on my hair no ma'am then she was recommending recommending Indian mask overnight. No, ma'am. Overnight. So two, so far, two different things that I made videos telling y'all not to do. Apple cider vinegar and conditioner overnight. She said, uh, finally, finally, when I told her I really just want a wash and a cut and then will come back for trims every 10 weeks, she said I needed to come back every six weeks for another trim. She finally 
said she didn't use Olaplex products and I should switch up lines. Mind you, the only thing that this woman uses is Olaplex, by the way. Seeing <laughs> we out here struggling with these licensed cosmetologists. And I am, okay, so before I go there, after that, I was contacted by another cos before this, probably like two days prior to this, because what I just read you was what I just read you was today, right? So for the um, for the last couple of years, right? As I as I've been, you know, giving bringing y'all this information and killing these myths and things of that nature, I have always been on the lookout for cosmetologists that think the way that I do, but. I cannot find any. Like I, I am having the same level of difficulty finding cosmetologists that think the way that I do. Because, like I've told you guys before in the past, the majority of cosmetologists that are out right now are either brand new and and the teen natural community has been out for the last 12 years so anybody who's been doing hair any less than 12 years came out of cosmetology school with teen natural so it, it the still the difference and the, there are licensed cosmetologists that follow the same wrong teen natural stuff so it's confusing it's like, how do I know that the stuff that's on social media is wrong? And for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out, like, what is this disconnect? Like, how how is it how is it that how is it that Team Natural and all of these different YouTube hacks are able to have so much power, and how are they able to? And I, when I think about it from this sense, it's because licensed cosmetologists have no, no listening to this and you're not a licensed, but if you are a licensed cosmetologist and you have failed into this team, natural stuff, everything that is wrong with the hair industry is your fault. Because women are out here and they are looking they're looking for truth they're looking for women like me that's what I'm doing I can only do so much I stepped out of the industry so I can change the way that women think about hair care right but now that women are changing their mentality now that women are starting to see the results of team natural hacks and all of the things that they're doing and now that they're saying okay i'm gonna stop putting apple cider vinegar in my hair i'm gonna stop doing all of this stuff and then they go to the shop and the professional cosmetologists are doing the same thing that's where that's our problem but it gave me so much it won't be something that is going to last forever like this post right here that I'm going to read you right now. Let me get this bar of um, talk about. Um, like it gave me so much peace, y'all. It gave me so much peace because it let me know I'm not out there alone. And not only am I not out there alone, this gives, listen, I don't care what anybody says. What I'm about to read you right now, and I've purposely like not included her name or picture or anything like that because she's changing this about herself. This will not be what she presents as a licensed cosmetologist. So I'm not going to show you her name. But but this, this is her having accountability. And this is what this is what I want you to know. Like as it pertains to cosmetologists all before I read this, as it pertains to cosmetologists are all doing apple cider vinegar and they do to styles to all of this stuff too in hair salons they are not doing it because it's the thing that we are supposed to do they are doing it because for the last 12 years women have been like oh if you're not doing what we're seeing on these viral videos we don't want to come to you so women so to succumb to the different things and to keep themselves from losing everything they fold it and and a lot of cosmetologists don't want to admit to this. I don't care. You fold it. 
And uh, it's time for everybody to take accountability. And it is time for licensed cosmetologists to stand up and remember the things that you got tested on with State Board. Because the reason that I sound crazy to people the reason why there are videos on social media like oh seeing a liar she doesn't know what she's talking about is because licensed cosmetologists have forgotten the things that they went to school to learn everything that i talk about on my channel i got tested with going to the state board of cosmetology i'm not making up nothing so if you meet a cosmetologist who disagrees with me you have met a cosmetologist who has folded specific time i'm going to have a cosmetologist here on stage with me we're going to be in person though well you'll get to see my face because you we need the accountability all right she said good morning i have been binge watching your videos for for the past week thank you so much i was in the middle of rebranding to focus on healthy hair and got distracted and started associating health with wearing hair naturally curly until I came across your page. I put the whole rebrand on hold until I refreshed myself to everything I learned in school. I'm disappointed that I completely forgot what I learned in cosmetology. I take accountability for losing myself, chasing trends, and starting out take you know what? I take accountability for losing myself, chasing trends, starting out, and want to do things right. Listen, want to do the right way this time around. God reminded me that the focus was always supposed to be healthy hair. God reminded me that the focus was always supposed to be healthy hair. And I'm so glad that I found your page before I went through with this rebrand child. Even with what I learned from Cosmo, I didn't quite understand how to apply it as a stylist until you simplified it the way that you did. And I was able to associate it with my experience as a stylist. So again, thank you. And please don't give up on us, even though we don't be making no sense, we listen. Y'all, the stuff that I say, I'm not just on here randomly talking to y'all because I want to go viral and all of that. No, no, that's not it. I want y'all to see the parallel. I want y'all to be able to draw the parallel and know the difference between real, actual scientific information and, and just something that is a fad. And that is is the way that you'll be able to decide of whether or not somebody's good for you. For example, if this woman that is within my seven day challenge, if she would not have listened to me and would have just went to some random person because I didn't add uh, the entire conversation because we had a long conversation in the group, but within the group, the way that she met this woman or heard of this cosmetologist to begin with was from a friend. A friend uh, referred her to her. And she was like, okay, let me book a consultation first because that's what I tell y'all to do. I don't care who told you to go to this person. The is when the girl told her, oh, apple cider vinegar, this, sleeping conditioner overnight. Now, all of these different things because most cosmetologists have folded. This, this is why it is so imperative to know what you're doing to know your hair, to know your scalp, to know your body. Okay, I'm gonna go back to um, the questions in a minute. Let me just take this uh, the screen. So these are things that I want that I really, really want everybody to think about. I really, 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 really want everybody to think about all of this because it it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And I, like I said, I'm going to have a, a, a cosmetologist on here and we're going to be talking a little bit more. And I am going to do the best that I can, you know, to um, gather as many cosmetologists like myself as I can. And if there are any cosmetologists that focus on the science of hair that are listening to the sound of my voice right now, I really need you to contact 
contact me. Head over to my website and like go to the contact tab and hit me up or um, write me on Instagram. Something like because the woman that um, the woman that's coming on here next Saturday, she wrote me on Instagram. Write me on Instagram, like because I I literally cannot do it by myself. Like I can just one copy. And every other cosmetologist is blended in with the other ones. Like, it. What are What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are, What are we gonna do? Okay. When I last had my ends clipped about three weeks ago, I had a lady clip my ends before she washed it. And then she washed my hair, blow dried me and clipped it again. My hair is uneven. <sighs> Where did you meet her? Where did you meet her? but not completely noticeable. Seeing you are a unicorn out in these cosmetology streets. But I'm, but, but I don't think so though. I'm not though. But can I be transparent with y'all? Give me a three if I could eat one of my things. And I really don't want to offend anybody. I'm in a really good mood today. And I want everybody to stay in a good mood. I'm so comfortable. I'm not not on screen because I look dusty. I'm not not on screen because I barely have clothes because I'm really comfortable today. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I could be real. I added to the screen later. So there are a lot of really good cosmetologists out here, but there is a certain pattern that you have to follow to find them, and they're not cheap. And when I say they're not cheap, I don't mean they're unreasonably expensive. Like, like great cosmetologists are not charging a thousand dollars for a silk purse. No. But she may require you to book a consultation and she's absolutely going to require you to pay a deposit. Like you want to start looking for certain things like porosity hair wash or or uh, scalp detox. Certain words, right, that only a professional cosmetologist that is focused on the science of hair. You're not looking for apple cider vinegar and stuff like that and you have to book a consultation. You just have to book a consultation. Like, there's no way that you can, like, just pinpoint and find a good cosmetologist. And listen, I I am just as floored as you all are. Like, because we kept talking and the, she was just sharing more and more things that the cosmetologist was saying. Oh, well, put aloe in your hair. The lady told her to put blueberries. Hold on. I'm about to find it because y'all don't think I'm making it up. She told her to put like, if you in here, boo, can you write it in the comments? She told her to put blueberries or something in her hair. Hold on. It's so many comments in the thread. <laughs> oh, and she's in Atlanta, by the way. This is in Atlanta. This is an ATL shorty. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to add it to the chat because. Yeah, I'll just add it to the chat. Because it's going to take so long to go through the threads. But, and that's what I mean. Is it, Do cosmetologists do continuing education? Not all of them do. That's why you see what 
clap a lot of the cosmetologists that I know who have already left the industry went to uh, a instead of money, once you get ills, I don't need to know. I already know how to do hair. I don't need to know the science of hair. So you, it just, it just depends on what type of professional that you're dealing with. And that's for anything. Like we have to stop connect, like disconnecting the hair industry from any other industry. I think because we personalize everything, we make it seem like hair is something more personal to you instead of looking at hair like a business. So it just it just depends. Like hair is the type of thing that you have to go further and learn more information. But as it pertains to like apple cider vinegar in the hair and uh porosity and all of that, everything that I talk about on YouTube is surface level cosmetology school type stuff. No cosmetologist should be putting apple cider vinegar in their clients' hair, period. And if you are a cosmetologist that's doing it, you have folded. And I don't Care what anybody has to say. You have folded. You are telling your clients to detangle their hair wet with conditioner. You have folded. If you are a licensed cosmetologist and you are telling your clients to sleep in conditioner, you have folded. I don't care what anybody says. Hydro fatigue, all of these things are things that we learn in cosmetology school. You learn about alpha keratin and beta keratin in cosmetology school, and it is on your state board exam. You learn about um, curly hair being curly hair being swollen when it is wet, and straight hair being swollen when it is dry, and that you're only supposed to cut hair when it is stretched. You learn that in the cutting module in cosmetology school. So wet has folded and I don't care how you feel about it because when you went to state board and they asked you the question when do you cut hair and the answer was when stretched and then the next portion of it was when is curly hair stretched and when is straight hair stretched. Straight hair is stretched when it is wet. And curly hair is stretched when it is blown out and flat on. Fact. You have to answer that question on state board to get the L's. You just folded when you got out. It is. I'm sorry. Let's take it out the hair industry, my baby. Let's say that you an accountant. Or you a dentist. And you... It's it's certain there are certain bones of the structure of science that you you just don't go past, right? Or maybe a pilot. There are certain pilots that fly, or every pilot got their own little style. But at the end of the day, gravity, gravity. At the end of the day, I don't give a damn how good of a pilot you are. You open that window while it's in the air. That plane going down. Period. Same thing with the hair industry. Most cosmetologists have folded, and that is why I'm always teaching the science of hair here on my channel. Because if you know the science, you'll know the difference between one who is sticking true to it and the ones that folded. And it's just as simple as that. You're not crazy. If I research the science you've spoken about, and it checks out. The issue I think is you can find evidence that supports both sides when you dig deep and but look you don't find you don't find evidence that supports both no you don't no you don't you find evidence that supports the both on a surface level but when it comes to science you have to look at the longevity of the thing for example with the with the uh I can't think of the, the one that I like to call the glory hole blow dryer, right? With the one that you stick your you stick your hair in a hole and then you press it and then there you go. People are like, oh, well, studies show that it's good. Listen, when you don't know the science of the human body, you can be fooled and say, oh, studies say that it's good. The, no, it don't. 
You know why? There have been multiple prototypes of that blow dryer, right? Multiple forms of that blow dryer. None of the forms have been out for seven years consecutively. Why is that important? The human hair growth cycle is seven years. So until a product or a tool has been out for longer than seven years, you cannot say definitively if whether or not a product is going to have a positive or negative effect on the hair growth cycle when it hasn't been out long enough for one person to use it, for them to do a test on it to get a definitive answer. That's what I'm saying. It's surface level information. And when you are a person who only knows how to look at information on the surface level, that's how it goes. So any product that is out for less than seven years claiming to fix a problem is a fraud. I don't care what anybody says. The human hair growth cycle is seven years. If a product hasn't been out for seven years, how do you know what effect it has on the human hair growth cycle? You don't. That's not everything way that it went because they came up with some shit in seconds. It, it wasn't enough time for them to get a definitive answer on what will happen long term. And that's why Black women are so easily manipulated because y'all don't think. Everything is surface level. Everything is quick. Things that are promising you things instantly are fraudulent. That's why when you go into a hair salon of a, of a hairstylist that's been doing hair for over a decade, you guys will notice that this hairstylist has been using the same products from Jump. You know why? She know the game. And she also is a scientist a cosmetologist is a scientist some scientists are just dusty and they don't keep studying and that's just what it is because it knows that the human hair growth cycle is seven years and until a product has been out for a full hair growth cycle to the fact where there there are studies that show what happens from analogen to telogen and back to analogen with using a product. We cannot say whether or not it's good or bad. And that blow dryer has not been out for seven years. The, the, the prototype, the type that y'all are using right now has not been out for seven years. It has not. Because seven years ago, I was standing behind the chair and that blow dryer was not out. It was not. The prototype was and they were walking around to cosmetologists like myself asking us and we wanted to promote it and we said no we do not want to use that because cosmetologists don't play that except for i remember i had a one-on-one -on -one consultation and i do i do consults for your hair and scalp and i do business consultations but I'm super real. Obviously, I'm not rude or disrespectful or anything like that. But I give my clients the real. I let them know, like, hey, if you don't want to listen, if you're not, if you're not gonna follow suit, or if you're not ready for the real, then I don't think this is gonna be a day. Be like, girl, let me have it. And at the end of all my consultations, they be like, that's it. I thought you was gonna get me. I'm like, no, girl, <laughs> like we good. But I had a a, a consult with a hairstylist. And she was barely in the industry, right? She had her cosmetology license for a while, but she was doing hair like part-time as a hobby a couple times a week. And, and she booked a consultation with me because she wanted to know how to take her business to the next level and how to stand out. So told her what to do, gave her some homework or whatever. And then she was supposed to contact me back for us to have another consult. I'm not going to talk to you again for another hour for free, boo. So we was, you know, anyway. So when we were, when we were emailing back and forth, because mm -hmm, we, we ain't even going to go there. So we were emailing back and forth and she was giving me all, all of this information. I told her, but I will say this because I have her send me pictures of her. I mean, her, um, her Instagram, because when we had our call, I told her, hey, do this with your Instagram, change this, change that, do this, do that. And she didn't really do any of those things. And then when I went on her Instagram, the thing that she was promoting the most was talking about somebody leave it in the comments because I don't I don't remember this with it. So she was using a glory hole blow dryer on all of her clients. And I told her, I said, Hey sis, 
You have to do something to stand out. This ain't it. Anybody can go get that blow dryer. This ain't it. Do something else. And she didn't want to hear that because she didn't understand. She didn't understand that she had to stand out. She didn't understand that she had to go in the opposite direction of the crowd. So you got licensed cosmetologists and using the glory called blow dryer too. That's why y'all confused. That's why you need to know the science of hair. I'm not here trying to create no, ooh, sin. I follow sin. sin. No, I want you to be a guru. I want you to be your own guru. So that way, when you go in to see a cosmetologist, a real cosmetologist, she's just helping you maintain what you've already been keeping, keeping up. It's just as simple as that. She's doing the things that you can't do for yourself because you're not licensed to do. She has access to the things that you don't have access to because that's not what you do. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I will use this sort of thing. <laughs> so I definitely have a stylist coming for y'all on uh, next Saturday at 6 p.m. So I'm not, I can't tell, I, I want to tell y'all nothing about it yet. But she don't tell. If she was in my city, she would be on my head. And that's what I mean. There are cosmetologists out here, y'all. There are cosmetologists out here. You just have to know how to look for them. And you have to know the science. Because if you don't know the science and then you walk into the uh, the type of cosmetologist that she walked into, it's like, hey, apple cider vinegar in her hair. You're going to be like, oh, okay. And then you're going to be walking away like, oh, this is, and that happened to her. But by the time, yo, by the time certain things happen, there's no going back. So prevent yourself from walking into these situations in the first place. Oh, what is, what is that? Hold on. Player. The question I ask myself is, we really have proper training or do they get the basement training? Because I swear they're totally off the book with the foolishness. But I just want to be real and authentic with y'all. For the last 10 years, y'all been like cosmetology license don't matter. So most cosmetologists, I'm one of those cosmetologists that left. I'm one of them. Because at the time, they like a lot of women didn't care. And not all of my clients, all of my clients weren't like that, but almost every last new client that I had was like that. And I only had my regular certain days of the week and new people certain days of the week. And sometimes the bad does outweigh the good. And I also wanted to do other business ventures. It was just other things that I could do. So... I think that because the soil has been muddy so much, y'all got to think about it. Why wouldn't these cosmetologists all of the products in the store? Like, there are products with, made with apple cider vinegar. Why would the licensed cosmetologists not do that as a market employee to get y'all in? And then they, they stay in it for so long, they forget, like, this is not what we're supposed to do. That's why I read the one at the beginning, because I wanted y'all to see that at a national salon in two years, Cosmos. Listen. I'm not even going there because that I don't I don't because I don't even know if that's what you were saying, because I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not even. I do take on my hair dry using oil, but struggle a lot. What can I do? Okay, don't get mad at me when I say this, but why is your hair tangled to begin with? Do not get mad at me. Why is your hair tangled to begin with? Having tangled matted hair is not normal. It's not something that should happen all the time. It's not. I really hope y'all don't get offended when I say Like, that's not normal. Even with my daughter's hair as a little girl, like that's not, there should be certain patterns and routines in place that your hair is not allowed to get 
tangled in. The only time a fiber gets tangled is when that fiber isn't set properly. That's the only time a fiber can get tangled. Just like, just if y'all was to have, just put this picture right now in your head because you can't see me. So close your eyes, for real, like for real. Close your eyes and picture a hundred, no, picture a thousand white strings hanging. So for real, like close your eyes. So all you see is black. Now picture a thousand white strings hanging down, just hanging down free, right? Now shake, shake those strings up. Like take your hand across the strings and glide those strings what's gonna happen they're gonna tangle they're gonna knot they're gonna mat that's what's gonna happen but then those same strings imagine if those strings are not just left there just to do whatever they want to do imagine if those strings were given direction and put in separate areas Imagine if some of those strings were stretched out and then braided. If some of those strings were put in certain areas, if certain if certain strings went from being curly to being bone straight, so they're so that way they're not gliding up against each other. It's not normal, y'all. Having tangled hair and knotted hair, my love, is not normal. I have I've been a licensed cosmetologist for over a decade and i have not had tangled hair since i was in cosmetology school there has never been a time where i've had knots and tangles in my hair so i'm not being disrespectful but every black woman listening to the sound of my voice needs to ask herself why is your hair always tangled that's not normal that's not normal that's why it's so confusing that's why there's no direction for it like there was never a time in we're gonna talk about about matting knots and tangles. You wanna know what we learned about matting knots and tangles in cosmetology school? How to prevent them. We learned prevention. So we're never in the situation in the first place. When you in cosmetology school, there is no module teaching you how to how to wash hair that hasn't been washed in six months there's no module teaching you to do that no there's a module teaching you what type of uh, follicle and scalp infection comes from not doing that i mean come it comes from that comes from not washing your hair in six months we learn about what happens and then because we learn about what happens we you don't wash your hair or we learn what happens when you do add a lot of oil to the scalp we learn prevention measures to teach our clients on what not to do but then when we are in the hair salon and we say no don't do this it's like mm -mm, because this girl on youtube do it and she got long hair do you not understand that the girls y'all saw on youtube 12 years ago were in their 20s they were in their early 20s once you hit 30, my love, and any woman over 30 can vouch for this. Once you hit 30, your body stops producing certain amino acids at the same rate that they were before. So you have to start ingesting them. Once you hit 30, uh, I remember I used to be able to eat a couple double cheeseburgers and some, uh, what you call them fast? Some hot Cheetos and, and ever fresh papaya. That was my thing. Oh. Girl, if I do that now, I will be on the toilet for a year and a half. Do you hear me? Toilet for the year and a half. I will be recording videos going live from the toilet for the next year and a half if I do that. Well, guess what? The same thing happens for your hair. So all of the women that y'all was watching, oh, look at her. Her hair is long and she's been doing that. Have y'all noticed that those same women that was making videos 12 years ago are not making those videos now? Why? Because they have hit 30. Let's do the math. Hello, let's do the math. If they were in their early 20s, when they first started making the videos, when the Team Natural community first started, and now today, 12, 13 years later, how old are they? And they're no longer making those videos. Why? Because the way that your body is producing hair growth cells in your 20s and the way that your body is producing hair growth cells in your 30s are night and day. Night and day. That's why you've noticed the majority of y'all team natural people are like, okay, let me calm this shit down because their bodies are catching up. 
the weathering is catching up. So these are the things that I want y'all to really understand. Hair should not be so matted and knotted that combing through your hair hurts. That is a problem. Something in your routine is wrong. And this is the thing. Think about think about the irony on how much sense this does not make. And I'm not talking about you. So y'all avoiding blow dryers because blow dryers are bad. But blow dryers, that's 15 minutes tops. It don't even take me that long. It take me 10 minutes. But for you, 15 minutes tops with the blow dryer. 15, 20 minutes after you've done it for a couple of a couple of times. Right? But let's put into consideration how much time you spend in your hair when you just doing the twist out and letting the air dry. So we got 15 minutes with you blow drying it, right? But if you doing the twist out, that twist out gonna take you a couple hours and a whole bunch of products. Mind you, that blowout, 15 minutes, one product. 15 minutes and a leave-in conditioning treat. That's it. 15 minutes or let's just go an hour. Let's go an hour. Let's say it take you an hour. An hour and a leave-in conditioner. That's it for blow dryer. But when you're doing your twist out, oh, let's get into it. You got to have a liquid, an oil, and a cream on every piece of hair. It's taking you 50 million years to, to go through and twist each one. And you combing out your hair all the whole time as you're doing it. it it's, or even before, before you washed it, as you're washing it, you detangle it in the shower. Because you don't know what else to do. So you detangle it in the shower with water and conditioner. You getting globs of hair coming out in your brush, and you've tricked yourself. Oh, we lose 55 to 100 strands, so this is normal. Listen, your hair shaft is microscopic, right? In some areas, a glob of hair that you can hold in your hand, my love, is a lot more than 55 to 100 strands. Okay, it's a lot more. So, when you when you are doing your twist. Now then let's say this you let your hair dry that's gonna take about three days for your hair to dry depending on how thick your hair is then you're going back in your hair you gotta undo the twist you gotta undo the twist you put more product in it you gotta wet it your hair to refresh the curls like remember we the at, at the longest if you if you're not good but your your team now my nigga, you've been doing your hair for three days. It is very easy to see why your hair is tangled. Person A who blow dried her hair is not, she's not having problems with tangled hair when it's time to wash her hair. She just gets in the shower and washes her hair. Look, I'm not telling you what to do or what not to do. I'm just drawing the parallel. And you can make the decision based on that on what you decide to do. I'm, I'm past the phase of telling y'all, oh, don't do this, don't do that. Do what you want to do. But these are the facts. And these, well, I don't even say that. We we don't even have to talk facts. Let's just, like, like let's just talk the shit. Like, it's, this is, like, literal, literal common sense. One method takes 15, 20 minutes when you're good at it. The other method, even when you're good at it, take three days. So you mean to tell me that the blow dryer is going to be more damaging than the hydrogen bomb being broken for three days? That's crazy. I want Granny with 25 years experience. <laughs> but see, Granny ain't still doing it. If there are hairstylists out here that are good, but they're not cheap, and you're gonna have to pay account of uh, pay a deposit, and you're probably gonna have to book online. Like it, like it's crazy to me that y'all can charge y'all cars, but you still don't want to book appointments online. That's crazy. Not true. Not true, boo. I don't mind paying as long as they're not talking about using apple cider vinegar on my scalp. I'm with you. Listen, make sure that y'all book consultations first. And you can just be like, oh, that's you? Was that you? Okay. Look, like, I think you missed it, boo. I read it already. 
Yes, it is you. Okay, I read it already. After years of buying, after years of buying, leaving, you were the only person to tell us your leaving is your heat protected. But that's the thing. Like, I want y'all, like, yes, I'm the only one who told y'all, but that's what a lot of people who behind the chair, they ain't read the damn directions. We just a bunch of people that don't read shit. <laughs> And that's why people argue when she don't know what she's talking about. It's like, yes, I do. You just forgot because you got distracted by the money. And don't get me wrong. Listen, it's real nice. It's real nice. Especially once you, when you first get out of cosmetology school, you be all excited. Like, oh my God, I'm going to teach them everything. And then they be like, girl, I don't care. Can you put my hair on that side? Girl, I don't care. Can you, can you do this over here? So you just, you just end up forgetting about it after after a while and you got to think about it if i'm doing hair five days a week and some people do hair way more than five days a week um and i'm doing it from seven o'clock in the morning to ten o'clock at night when do i got time to sit down and educate clients and you like we have to have accountability y'all no one has cared y'all just aren't caring like my channel i have i'm I am not new to talking about this, but probably over the last two weeks, I don't know what happened. The algorithm was like, hey, girl, and everybody's been coming back. But I've been talking about this for years. I've never stopped. But now people are ready to hear it. But in the midst of people not wanting to hear it, the cosmetologists who were trying to spread it was like, I'm done. Nobody cares. I'm done. Okay, this is the woman who we read um, from this within the seven day challenge. After she checked my scalp and told me, Lord, how clean it was. And after I shared with her how I did not want an apple cider vinegar rinse or Indian mask, she started talking about blueberries and raspberries. You better shut your face. Shut up. No, she did. That's what it, I knew that I wasn't crazy. When I saw that this morning, when you, <laughs> I almost knocked my mic off, when you said that, when you said that in the chat, like she recommended putting blueberries and raspberries in my hair. What are you talking about? And she was a licensed cosmetologist. How, how old was she? Like, could you give me an age range? I'm, I'm so floored. Cosmetologist, I'm so disappointed in y'all. Like, I'm so disappointed in y'all. Blueberries blueberries and raspberries what where in the milady book was they talking about blueberries where <laughs> i'm a herbalist where how the hell oh i should punch you well not you her like blueberries and raspberries in your hair really really Shalifa? this is what i be talking about dog So, okay, can I get everybody to do me a favor and tell me where you find your, your last two hairstylists or cosmetologists, where did you find them in? Be honest. And as you tell me that, along with that answer, did you book a consultation? That was a chair. I mean, see, I didn't put it in the chair. <laughs> did you book a consultation? Okay, the question is, How did you do like, and did you book a first? Be honest. I just want to know. I just want to know. One of my friends has an older woman that does whip sets with brothers or sisters in dryer, and I'm going to start going to her. Yeah, like, try, yes, just do that. Oh, my God. No blueberries. I know about the food in the hair. Oh my God. What? What, what are y'all talking about? Oh my God. Like, I, are y'all, I think y'all playing. I think, like, I'm, hold on. I gotta get my chest through. This is making my lips ashy. Like, are y'all playing? I think y'all playing with me. I don't think this is true. I, th I think, I think y'all are playing with me. I don't believe. I, hold on. I got to Hold on. Oh, Okay. 
So basically y'all are telling me that in real life, y'all are going to like, let me. So y'all are really saying to me that in real life, y'all are going to license cosmetology, license cosmetology. And these licensed cosmetologists are putting fruits and vegetables in your hair in the salon. Oh my God. Like there's no way these girls are licensed. There's no way. There's no way. Because when I left the industry, uh, um, Phoenix hair salons, they were letting anybody rent studios. Like women were not even have, they didn't even have to show a cosmetology license. Just because these girls are in the shop does not mean that they have cosmetology licenses. And that's why you need to book a consultation. Because when you book a consultation by law, they have to have their license at their station. And you can glance at it real quick. You don't even have to ask to hold it. You can glance at it real quick. These, There's no way. There's no way, bro. There's no way. No. Y'all, listen to me. When I say don't comb your, don't detangle your hair wet, I don't, I never say it, don't comb your hair wet. I never say it. I say don't detangle your hair wet. Detangling and combing are two complete tangled. De, de, miss, dismiss the tangles. De, detangle. To detangle is to get rid of knots and tangles. You only detangle the hair dry. Why? Because the hair is weak is when it is wet. So why would you remove knots and tangles from the hair when the hair is in its weakest form? And then the second reason is because you can't remove knots and tangles on wet hair because when you wet the hair, the hydrogen bond breaks and the hair is paralyzed. So if the hair is paralyzed, then guess what other hair is paralyzed? The, the hair that is already detached from the follicle. So what ends up happening is the hair that is detached from the follicle ends up wrapping itself around the hair that is still attached to the follicle. What does that sound like? Single strand knots. And that is the reason why only women who wear their hair naturally curly and who detangle their hair wet in the shower have single strand knots. Because y'all give y'all so single strand knots when you detangle your hair wet. That is what I'm talking about when I say having hair detangling the hair wet. Of course, you're going to comb your hair while it's wet because you have to blow dry. How can you blow dry your hair if you're not combing it wet? That's why I say I want y'all to pay attention to the science, lose the emotion, and really listen. Listen with your mind, not with your emotions. Listen with your mind. I am saying... Do not detangle hair wet, but you have to set the hydrogen bond. Do y'all hear how there are so many layers to hair? There are so many layers to the science of hair. So when you do a wet set, you are setting the hydrogen bond. You detangle, remove knots and tangles before you break the bond with broken. Once the hair is detangled and all, there are no more knots and the majority of the shed hair is out, then you can go ahead, wet the hair, shampoo, do your thing. You can put the conditioner in your hair. You're combing the conditioner from the top of the hair shaft to the bottom of the hair shaft. And you know why it's not a problem? Because there's nothing that is going to snap not tangles because it doesn't matter that the hair is weak when wet when there's nothing pulling on it or causing tension do you understand where i'm going so then once you rinse the conditioner out you rinse the conditioner out you spray your leave-in conditioner in then you set the bond you either set the blind with a blow dryer or you can set the blind with flexi rod or rollers, thus the term roller set. You are setting the bond. You are resetting the hydrogen bond because you broke the hydrogen bond temporarily with water. So for a flexi rod set or a perm rod set, okay? 
And then once you set the bond, then you style the hair and that is how your hair is until you wet the hair again. It is literally as simple as that. So to answer the question, no, a roller set is not damaging because by the time you are doing your roller set, your hair is completely smooth. This is why y'all have been thrown completely off balance because y'all got all these single strand knots and y'all hair keep breaking off because everything that you need to keep yourself from having single strand knots, Team Natural told you that it was the, the devil. And then replaced it with a bunch of products, just like silicone. Oh, I never used that serum because you have silicone. Listen, listen. It's swarmed with follicle infections. Because you 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 threw away silicone shampoo and then replaced it with co-wash and conditioners. And co-wash and conditioners, baby, are not powerful enough to kill that bacteria that lives on your scalp naturally. Listen, there's more to it than just, oh, a little hack. I'm going to put this on my hair and spark four times and then your hair will grow. It's BS. It's BS. If I hadn't heard of seeing... I would have thought she was earthy, laugh out loud. I really didn't know any better before the challenge. That's what I'm saying. I love you. Thank you for your accountability. And that's what I'm saying. So from that standpoint, who's to blame, right? She, this woman here got the education that she needed to equip herself. And then she went in to see a service provider, book the consultation information that she needed and basically so what she knew she needed as the guru of her own body, she sat there and she asked her a set amount of questions. And as she asked her the questions that she asked her, the responses that she gave her was like, oh, she, okay. And she wasn't like, I ain't telling you, you get out. She just was like, okay, thank you. And then I ain't gonna call her back. And then the journey comes as simple as that. Nope, everything plugged in. I don't know what to do, boo. Ain't nothing I can do. Ain't nothing wrong. My husband can try everything. We is good to live. So stylists claim to specialize in natural hair with the massive. Let me tell you something. And a lot of cosmetologists ain't gonna like, well, I don't, I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I don't care nothing about tearing down the foundations that most cosmetologists built up before you got here. Y'all don't care nothing about telling everybody to put rice nipple juice and make themselves in your clients' hair. Y'all want y'all clients to be fruit bowls and fruit baskets so bad. Y'all want to be fruit salads so bad. Why are y'all all trying to make y'all client sides at family reunions? Why? Why are we doing that? This is what I'm talking about. Know the science of hair. There are cosmetologists that would never put bananas in your hair. Those are the ones that you need to be going to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't care. Feel how you feel. Because you, you can't tell me something. First of all, this is the thing. You, if you're going to be talking about food, you need to be giving your clients ebooks to take home for their diet. You need to be giving them a diet, telling them to eat those fruits and vegetables. You, y'all, you and your clients be sitting there eating double cheeseburgers and you putting bananas in your hair. And she, the only banana that she having is in the juice, is in the fruit juice. She got, ain't neither one of y'all ate no strawberries or no bananas in years and y'all up in all type of fruit salads in y'all clients hair no like for real y'all if you go to a, a cosmetologist that want to make you into a fruit salad you need to go if you go to a cosmetologist that wants to make you into a fruit bowl or into some avocado or some guacamole or into a Chipotle burrito, 
putting guacamole and honey and stuff in your hair, then you need to find somebody else. I'm sorry. I love y'all, but no. I don't trust it either. What if your hair gets stuck in that thing? Watch. And let, and let me tell you something. Y'all better know it. When it happens, when somebody, when, when that thing go haywire, and it's like breaking news, your finger is stuck in. Don't. Mm -hmm. Just no. Just just come right to my channel because I'm not even gonna say nothing. I'm gonna just be looking at the screen, and I'm gonna have the blow dryer on one side, and I'm just be looking at the screen because I told y'all, and everything that I have ever warned y'all about, everything that I've ever said is came to pass, and I everybody like I'm sorry, see no, like come on y'all. I also got the blow dryer from Amazon saying talked about on the last blow dryer video. It is amazing. Yes. Brushing my hair every day and putting serum on my listen. This listen, right? It's so simplistic. We make it so hard. Oh yeah. And if you are a part of the seven day challenge, but you're not in the group, please join the group. Please, please, please join the group. And then when you're in there, before you ask questions, literally read through the entire group because everybody asks the same questions because everybody is healing their self from the same team natural habits. So read through the group. I love the accountability that everybody gives each other there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to revere to the Lord. I have to get rid of that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like, right, girl, and that thing was five hundred dollars. Y'all gotta think about it. Y'all went from blow dryers and heat is bad. Combs and brushes are bad. It's like. Let me get this straight. You scared of a cold, but you're not scared to put your hair in a dark hole and press the button. That is crazy as hell. Like I, it is, it's, it's, it's some special stuff going. On. It's some special stuff going on. And the thing is, once again, the Rivera has not been out a full human hair growth cycle. So the way who've been using it now have been using it under three four years they've been using it under seven years so we've eight in eight years let's see let's see because every product that i use that i promote to y'all has been out longer than one full human hair growth cycle point blank period olaplex kimra paul mitchell all of them have been out longer than one full human hair growth cycle. I don't do new products as soon as they come out. The rest of them, when they been out, y'all be like, oh, Sam, what do you think about this? I don't think about my wallet. I don't pull out any money to pay for any product unless it's been on the market longer than one human hair growth cycle. And that's just it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm sorry. It's just not a thing for me. It's just not a thing. I just don't. I don't play in hair products. That's why I'm I'm a really integral person and I don't believe in doing anything that I don't support myself. So like if I don't even use hair products and today been out on the market. And okay, when I say use hair products, I mean like something with some type of new technology that never been heard of before, right? If it's like, oh, this is the brand new, no. it's like, no, I'm not using that. But if it's just a regular shampoo with tea tree in it, that's different. Like tea tree as an as a as an additive in a shampoo or in a conditioner is normal. Like that's that's normal, right? This is something that's been proven. As long as I can look at the ingredients to see, okay, that's tea tree in there. Okay, that's what is this ingredient? Okay, I'm familiar with that. All right, good. Okay, let's go. Then we can do it. I'm talking about new tools, new products that just came on the market. That's what I'm talking about. And then and products that change the vibes or change the hair permanently. So chemicals, I'm not using no new color, 
no new color lines until it's been out for seven years. It's just and that, it's just that on that. I'm just not doing it. That's just what it is. Into the person, into the the brand itself, or like the the person who's doing the formulation. I've known them for over thirty years. I'm just not doing it. That's just it's just what it is. I would have said, okay, if I hadn't heard him saying, and that's what I mean. Like you, I want y'all to do the research for yourself. So you don't, you don't have to worry about this. And cosmetologists, the ones of y'all that are out here doing that, I'm going to teach people how to tell the difference between a, a cosmetologist like myself, that's paying attention to the science and the ones that fold it. So if you're one that folded, you should unfold yourself, unfold yourself, do some rebranding real quick. Start remembering the stuff that you learn in science because my mission for the year of 2024 is to get everybody's mind back to the science of hair and nothing else. And I'm giving them the lines to connect the dots. So if you're still toting apple cider vinegar, sleeping conditioner, they're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to her. And it, it's not going, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, don't go to her, don't go to her. I'm teaching the scientific facts. And if you're going opposite of the ones that you learned in cosmetology school, the ones that you're licensed to perform, then that's just that's just what it's going to be. Because this is dumb. It's cool for people who don't know better to do it, but when the people who know better are doing it, that's when it's a problem. I swear... And my hair press out. Should I rewash it or throw some rollers in it? It's only been three years. Yeah, throw some rollers in it, boo. Actually, if you are a woman who sweats in your sleep, like I sweat in my sleep, if you sweat in your sleep, you should put your rollers in when you go to bed. So that way, when as you are sweating, your hair is still stretched out in the rollers. And by the time you wake up, get in the shower, get dressed, put your makeup on, and take the rollers out, the scalp is dry. And you can also, let's say if your scalp is still wet and you still need to go, you can get one of those um, at home, home hair dryers and you can just sit under the dryer. It's literally that simple. Because you can't stop your body from sweating. You're just going to have to learn how to work around it. You're never going to be able to stop it. What can be done about thinning hair? You got to target the reason why the hair is thinning before you can do anything about it. <laughs> it also comes from foolishness that natural hair community promote it with the being damaged to comb and brush your hair on a daily basis it's literally the craziest thing i've ever seen in my life like i said i've been in vegas since i was 16 and all of my friends had mothers that i don't think i think i may be yes i'm the only one out of my friends with a black mother. everybody else's mama was a different race and I was close with all of their mothers and all of their mamas. When I was spending out at their house, they all would be sitting in the, they had a vanity in their room or in their bathroom. And they, all of their mamas brushed their hair in every morning. And it was like a ritual in the mirror. One of my, one of my, and then whenever she on one side, she would switch hands, brush her, like switch hands and then move to the other side. Every day, every time that I was over her house, that's what I remember. And then the same thing at night, like their mom, right? And they like, like bust in their room or something and be like, oh, can we have this? Or can we do this or whatever? Their mom's, her mom was still the same thing, brushing her teeth before she go to bed, brushing one side of her hair and brushing the other side. Like it is insanity. The women who have the shortest hair are the women who believe that combs and brushes are bad. And the women who have the longest hair are the women who brush their hair all day. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Everybody does not get, get tangled here. And black women are not the only women with curly hair. We are not. We have the curly hair, but we're not the only 
when we're currently here. So why is it that we're the only ones who think combs and brushes are bad? It makes it all makes sense. We're the only ones who think that combs and brushes are bad, and we're the only ones that agree. So I always get, especially older black women, they'll be like, Indian women, they put oil in their hair. Indian women, you put oil in their hair. And like, first of all, it's kind of like, like ritual in a way, like self-care type thing. And it's as a treatment. You've never seen an Indian woman with oily hair. You've never seen an Indian woman with stringy, oily hair. You've never seen 30 minutes tops and then they go wash it out. They don't co-wash it out. They get a, a clarifying shampoo. And they they shampoo all of the excess oil out. You know why? They understand that a ba the same bacteria that causes a staph infection lives naturally on the human scalp. And guess what? That bacteria's favorite food is oil. So they make sure they use a clarifying shampoo to get all the remaining oil off. Because if they don't, the oil that they leave on their scalp is fertilizer for that bacteria. So if you're a black woman and you grease the scalp and you want to know why your hair is growing slower or why it gets stuck at one point, it's because your hair growth cycle is a little slower because you're feeding the bacteria that lives on the scalp. So your hair growth cycle isn't moving as fast as everybody else's because you are constantly fertilizing and feeding the natural bacteria that lives on the scalp. And you don't have to believe it. You look it up for yourself. It's, it is what it is. Thanks for the reply. I know I've been doing wrong for so many years because I did not have the knowledge. And here in France, black girls are left all aside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. But now you know, though. Now you know. You don't, you don't need all of those products. You don't. Like, stop thinking, as a black woman, stop thinking that you like your hair is missing so much so you have to add so many things because that's what you really believe you do not really believe that you need these products in your heart you really believe that your hair is missing something or you are lacking something that other women who have long and beautiful hair that don't have problems you really in your heart feel like you're lacking something and you think that these products have those things that you are lacking and they do not they do not. Your hair does not receive moisture from a product. It receives moisture from what you put in it and from the moisture that it gets from the environment and nothing else. And all that product is supposed to do is make it easier for your hair to receive moisture from the environment. That is all hair products are supposed to do. Hair products are supposed to make it easier, your body easier to move through the different phases that it needs. That's it. A sh shampoo is there to help your body move through the different phases of the hair growth cycle without being slowed down by an overgrowth of bacteria. That's why the only thing that goes on the scalp is shampoo. The only thing you're supposed to be doing to your scalp is making sure that the natural sebum can come out. You're supposed to be making sure that the skin cell turnover can happen every 28 days. You're supposed to be making sure that the dead skin cells, the dead cuticles that are falling out and coming out through the follicle, you're making sure those can get out. But if you're clogging the scalp with butters or oils, none of those things are getting out. It's not how it works. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. If I work out and retouch my hair with a blow dryer using Olaplex 6 for it. So uh, to touch up your roots, don't use Olaplex 6. Use Olaplex that have a new blowout spray. Use that one. But I mean, you could use that one. That's fine. But the one that they have a product specifically for your roots. But yes, you can use that. But don't, don't overdo it. Don't use too much product. Sugar. And they cut all the hair off. Exactly. Girl. Girl, listen to me, girl. I'm 
I don't know what is going on with the audio stuff. I don't know. I think it's just the weather over here. Are we still okay? Give me two. Are we still okay? Baby. Baby. But yeah, I really wanted to get to that today because it's the bullshit. <laughs> It really is. Girl, I had to stop them hot chips. <laughs> yeah, girl, I just, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Your body is, it gets different. Things get different. Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was talking about. The the hot Cheetos burning little dookie butt. Listen, when I was a little young thing, it wasn't nothing. Girl, it wasn't about nothing. It wasn't about nothing. But now, girl, oh, baby. And yes, and you're right. I have noticed that with these YouTubers, well. A lot of them have just started trying. Yes, listen, listen. I'm putting aloe in your hair. The one who got products in in Ulta just went to cosmetology school. She's been using henna in her hair this whole time. I bet now when she's in cosmetology school, she's like, oh my God. She probably feels so stupid. For all those videos she made, because the first thing you learn in cosmetology school when you get to the color module is how much of the devil henna is. So that's why when I'm on here, I'm teaching you guys the science. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to take my word for it, but at least look it up for your. Yourself. I really need us all. I really, really need us all in a place where we can think for ourselves and we're not. I really need us all at a place where we can think for ourselves and we're not in a place where we constantly feel like we have to follow people all around. Seeing seven day challenge is incredible. Thank you. And seeing answers all of our questions. Plus, you get to engage with others on the same journey with healthy hair goals. Thank you. Listen, I'm telling y'all, my challenge is life. Like, if you're confused on where to go next, and if you are like, if you just don't have time to piece all of the information together, because I have hundreds of videos, you don't have to take the challenge. You can just have a day today saturday where is today whatever today is it tomorrow yeah today saturday tomorrow sunday just have a send out binge day or join a seven day challenge where it's all compacted together and if you have questions talk in the group so I'm detangling my hair i'm detangling my hair right now i'm getting ready to Go do my hair. Ooh, ooh, what are you um what are you doing to your hair when you get done detangling it? What about relaxed hair? What about relaxed hair? How long should dryer time be? You guys get, get out of that mind frame. There is no difference between relaxed hair and natural hair. Kill that. That is of the team natural community. There's no difference. It's not, there's not, there's, I don't have an answer for that. I don't have an answer for like, oh, if you relax, it's going to take five minutes. But if you natural, it's going to take 15 minutes. No, that's, that's not how it go. You know why? There could be a, a girl who's natural and it could take her three hours to dry, but there could be a girl who's relaxed and her hair is super long and super thick and it could take her three hours to dry too. Relaxed and natural means nothing. The only difference between you having 
relaxed hair and natural hair is the amount of softer to softer linkages that you have holding your hair together. That is it. There is nothing different. You, I'm using the same products, the same thing. You don't get out until your hair is dry. There is no, there is no time frame. We, we do not know. When you, some, some clients be under the dryer for 20 minutes. Some, some, some client hair, it could take like 20, 30, 30, 30, 45 minutes to dry. And if it's super thin and low porosity, girl, you could be under there for 20 minutes. But I'm not, I'm sorry, not low porosity, high porosity. I didn't mean to say low, high. So that's different. Like my hair dries pretty fast. I have high porosity hair. The cuticles are already open. Low porosity hair takes a little longer. I hold on to water a little bit more. But there's no definite, like, this amount of time, it don't work like that. Hmm? It's been so much easier to blow dry my hair now that I do not air dry anymore. Them damn knots used to tear me up yes because that's what happens when you air dry your hair and listen y'all can keep air drying i don't i'm not here for it i'm not here for the no because i'm air dry and listen i'm going to block you and this is why I blo i'm blocking people like that when i'm reading comments i don't read my comments into like this tmi but i do it like not first thing in the morning but i do it in the morning when I'm in a good mood and I'm not letting anybody disrupt my energy, I'm not going back and forth with you about your opinions on what you want to do. Like, if you're not rude, I'm not going to block you. I'm going to just delete your comment. So, if you did, I'm going for 10 years and then I'm going to delete your comment because I don't care. You know why? The majority of my clients are between the ages of 45 and 70. So all of my clients are are you in 20 years. So that's nice that you've been doing it all of this time and this work. That's nice. It's not nice. But when you're between the ages of 44 and 70 and let see how that hair weathering catches up to you then i'm not i'm not doing it i'm going to delete your comment and the main reason i'm going to delete your comment is because when hold on all right when people make comments like that it just brings out oh, yeah me too me too i could Right, simple juice in my hair too. Me too. And then we had a whole. And I don't got time. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Would it come in your amen corner? Yeah, I put right simple juice in my hair too. I'm. I'm deleting it. See, can you speak of taking? Care of color treated the same way that you do it any other time. But it just depends on how your hair is colored. So, um, fortunately, I can't really say that because every color job is different. You could have semi permanent, you could have demi permanent, you could have permanent hair color. You could have, like there, you could have a uh, double process. You could have single process. You could have. Uh, a texture treatment on top of a relaxer there on, on i'm sorry a texture treatment on top of the color there's so many different things that go into it and i can't answer questions like that without knowing more about the person because everybody's scouts profile is different so there's no blanket answer for that i got a question is so when you did twist outs did you blow dry say the term roll 
roller set. The roller is the tool that you're doing, that you're using. The second word is what you're actually doing to the bonds of the hair shaft. So I'm using rollers to set the hydrogen bond in the hair. Once the hair is dry, the hydrogen bond is already set. You cannot do a roller set, setting the hydrogen bond on a bond that has already been set. So you're only doing a roller set on wet hair to set the keratin. Alpha keratin is your hair in its natural state. I'm going to try to find a picture to put on my screen. Alpha keratin is your hair in its natural state. And I'm not saying natural, oh, it's curly. No, I mean wet, how it, like, how it looks before you blow dry it or anything. The beta keratin is when the bond is set again. So alpha keratin is your hair when it's wet, when the bond is broken. When the hydrogen bond is broken. The hydrogen bond is one of the three bonds that hold your hair together. When the hydrogen bond is broken, we are in alpha keratin. When you set the bond back to alpha keratin, you are setting the hydrogen bond back in place. And the hair is in beta keratin until the hair is wet again and put back in alpha keratin. That is what a roller set is. You are using rollers to set the bond. A perm rod set is perm rods used to set the bond. Same thing with flexi rods. Flexi rods set, flexi rods to set the bond. So you cannot set the bond on dry hair. Once the hair is dry, the bond is already set. So you detangle the hair properly so that the hair can be combed through and smoothed out completely around the roller, stretched out smoothly with the foam. Then you dry it and it sets in that new form. So your roller set and the way that it comes out is going to be dependent on you. You and the 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 um the width of the sections that you take and the, your ability to smooth this. So guess what? All of my anti comb peoples, a roller set is not for you, my baby, because the average person has anywhere between a hundred thousand and four hundred thousand strands of hair on their head, and to do a roller set full of those bonds individually. So I hope that that makes sense. I'm trying to do what I've been learning for you since I found you last week. <laughs> Make sure you're taking baby steps and really, really learning. I've been natural for over 20 years and my hair is protective style. And very frequently, but I wear my hair curly. It's just too much time and product and commitment for me. And this is the thing: I really, I'm really excited for the day where Black women could just say, like, "Oh yeah, I, I straighten my hair sometimes." Like, I'm gonna be so glad when Black women stop. Four C, yeah, I've been natural for not you, babe. I've been natural for fifty. 10 years, it's like, oh my God, like we're the only people, the only ones on the planet that do it. We're not the only ones that change our texture though. Every other race changed their texture, but we're the only ones that be like, I'm natural. Every other race gets chemical treatments to change the texture of their hair. Only black women do it. Only us. It's so crazy. <laughs> he said that <laughs> I'm granny with 20 years experience but I ain't cheap that's what I'm saying listen if somebody been in a game 
can I be real with y'all? That's the literally the main reason. Like the, the the main reason that I'm not coming back. I see y'all like these hairstylists are ridiculous. They charge one hundred and fifty dollars or something. That's why I'm not coming back. Cause I don't want nobody to feel like that. And I'm like, oh, maybe they that's not that's not feasible for this market. So I'ma just do something else because I'm like. So again, if if y'all really, really want somebody, if y'all really, really, really want some good, good stylists, she not. 20 years? She been doing it for 20 years. You think she gonna be, you think it's gonna be cheap? You No. She not gonna have no discounts, no sales, no specials. Baby, she been doing it for 20 years. She been doing it longer than some of y'all been able to buy liquor. Some of y'all only been able to buy liquor for six years. She been doing it for 20. She been doing it for 20 years. Peep game. You you have to be at least 18, 18, 19 to have a cosmetology license. So at least 19 plus 20. That's how long she's been doing it. You're gonna have to put some respect on her name. It is not, it's not gonna be. $60. It ain't going to be $80, $90. You're not just going to be able to call her and say, hey, can I come in and get my hair done today? No, it's going to be policy or procedure. And the reason that I'm no longer behind the chair is because people not with it. And I'm not, I know, I know how worthy I am. I know. And I'm not lowering my prices and I'm not, I'm just not. And I'm, I'm not going to force people to meet me where I am. I'm just going to do something else. And that's just what it is. I hope that's not offensive. I'm paying for quality, so I don't mind paying a deposit. Hey, boo, you caught a live. Hey, sugar foot, how you doing? I oh I just saw a cosmetologist use a leave-in conditioner, a thermal. Listen, look, girl, I that's why I'm not doing here no more because I just feel like all the way around. I just feel like all the way around it's some bullshit. And I just don't want to be a part. I just don't want to, I just don't want to be a part of the industry the way it is right now like i just like professional cosmetologists or it was already dusty cosmetologists when i was doing hair but they wasn't team natural dusty they was dusty in other ways but this is a whole another layer of dust well i'm so glad you found me they going crazy in the seven day challenge chat y'all need to get over here in the live <laughs> Oh, y'all could watch live and be in the chat at the same time. Never mind. Are giving women so many. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. This is why I appreciate you saying you are giving women so much control when it comes to our hair. I'm trying. Can you answer my question, please, about two stops? Because your logic makes sense. What about, I love, I don't, I, I'm not being rude. I don't support twist outs. I can't stand when people do twist outs. Over the last, what, 14, 15 years, I hate, I hate twist outs. I'm so sorry. I don't know how else to say it. I hate twist outs and washing goals with a passion. I hate them. Why do I hate them so much? Because when I was standing behind a chair, every client that came and sat in my chair, imagine, imagine for 10 years, imagine, put, put yourself, I'm doing here five days a week, right? Two out, two out of those five days 
are only my regular clients. So I'm I'm okay those two days. But the rest of the week, those three days, every last woman that walks into my shop is asking me the question that you're asking me. How do I keep from having breakage from two strand twist and, and, and wash and goes? And I will have the same exact conversation that I keep having in all of my videos. I'm not being rude. If this is your first time here, my love, please go watch some of the videos that I've had before, right? Because I like y'all for 10, for 10 years, 10 years, 10 years from nine o'clock in the morning to the time that I went home, I am explaining to people why I don't support twist outs, why wash and goes cause single strand knots, why y'all keep getting breakage from that explaining that y'all are supposed to set the bond either with a blow dryer or with a roller set or a flexi rod set. I love y'all so much. I'm not being rude. Please stop asking me questions about twist outs and wash and goes. If y'all still want to do them and y'all won't let go of them, that is fine. I can't force y'all to do nothing, but you also can't force me to give y'all a consult on it. I do not support twist outs and wash and goes in any way, shape, or form. I'm not going to give y'all quicker, easier ways to do them. I'm not going to give product suggestions. I cannot stand them. And there's nothing anybody can say or do to that you have. And somebody keep asking you like, oh, well, okay, how do I do this? Y'all, for something that I do to the twist out and wash and go girls, go do that. If you disagree with me and you feel like twist outs and wash and goes is the only way a black woman should wear their hair, then think that and go to the channels of the people who think that. But you're not going to change my mind here. You're not. Because I left the industry because y'all won't let it go. That's why I stopped doing hair because y'all won't let it go. So now I am a now I am a consultant and I counsel and consult women who have made the decision to let it go. And I teach them what to do. But I am no longer behind the chair because of your wash and goes, because of your twist outs, because of your apple cider vinegars, because of your rice water. I am done. There are a lot of cosmetologists that just morphed it in, into what they were doing. And I said, no, I refuse. But I will tell them what to do and what not to do. But what I will not do is give you counsel on it. OK, I love you all so much as a black woman. If you feel like the only way you can wear your hair is in a twist out or a wash and go, then God damn it, twist it out, wash it and go it. But I'm not going to help you do it. I'm not going to help you do it. Don't, I'm sorry if that makes anybody feel away. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help anyone do it. I'm not going to help you get the perfect twist out. I will not help you get the perfect wash and go. Go to the twist out and wash and go girls and let them teach you that. And then let them figure out how to teach you how to fix your hair from it. Or when you get tired of your twist outs and you get tired of your wash and goes, and when you go, go ahead, head and that hair weathering sets in and then you need help fixing it then come back over here and we can talk but before that i don't know what to tell you my only counsel for twist outs and wash and goes is to go twist out the twist and go comb your hair shampoo it and go either blow dry it or get, do a roller set or a flexi rod set that's my advice if you're doing a wash and go my advice for you is wash and go take your ass and sit under a dryer with either some rollers, some flexi rod sets, or some perm rods, or get a blow dryer. That is my because. Sorry. Sorry if I seem irritated, it's because I am. I, 10 years, 10 years answering wash and go questions, 10 years fixing wash and goes and twist outs. I don't care anymore. I love y'all. I'm not answering those questions. Please, Lord.
Lower. Word no attention every time. I have to walk in my shoes to understand why it irritates me so much. Oh my God, I hate it so much. You guys hear me? Give me a two if you can hear me okay. We just had a little a little problem. I think it's when we um check the weather, it's like a little storm and overcast over here. So that's what's going on with my stuff. But I have full it's I'm I don't know. <laughs> my last two were terrible. I'm sorry. And it's the first time you had a consultation. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all got to start book of consultations with these people. Well, my old style is 15 years. Yeah. But I bet money you you knew what you was doing. Hi, Sam. I actually don't comment. Oh, I usually don't comment, but I have a question. I need to put my glasses on. I just booked a consultation with the Cosmo at Alta. What question should I be prepared to ask? So first, I need to know what your intentions are when you're going, and so do you. So I don't know what you're supposed to ask her because I don't know what you want to do. What do you want to do? Are you you trim, like what's going on? You need to know what you're trying to accomplish. Like what are you what are you trying to do? Like what is your end goal? She advised me that my last eyelids broke my edges off using a hot comb. I had no idea. But I don't know. Not burritos or tacos. That's the thing. Everybody wants to be burritos and tacos so bad. Like, why can't we be oranges on her clients here? And her clients are special for letting her do it. Oh my God. Oh my God, just it just irritates So do I have to well as it pertains to maintaining the style, once your hair feels like it needs to be washed, wash it. So if you can only make it seven days, just wash it and do it again. Because a lot of times when when you try to refresh something, you end up causing more harm than good because your hair is still weird, like it wants to be washed. And instead of washing it, adding more product to it, just kind of messes it up. So, I mean, you could add more rollers to it and like reset it, like stretch it out again. But I mean, 
it, especially if you if it's already if it's already wet from sweat, just wash it again. Especially if all you're using is rollers, you're not hurting your hair. The only thing that you lose in is time washing your hair again. You're not gonna hurt your hair or cause damage to your hair giving yourself two roller sets in a week or giving yourself a roller set once a week. That's not gonna hurt. So 1980, yes. Yes, it is. That's the consultation. It's showing in the hell. Listen, can't nobody look, can't nobody people might like your husband can. Okay. Yes. That is a consultation. Not sure you're doing. No console. I already knew their work. One does my natural hair for 20 plus years and the other braided for five. But see, sometimes you can though. If you if you feel like, okay, if you can't book consultations because because they either don't book consultations, which does come from red flag, or B you just don't really feel like booking one, look at their page, look at their website and look at returning clients. If it's a person who they just got people that's coming there once and just real cute hairstyles, you never see, excuse me, the same clients on their pages multiple times. They don't have regular returning clients, check for reviews. Because listen, a, a cosmetologist, they got growing hands, they get some reviews, baby, she's posting them. I am proud. As soon as I get to of myself okay so, so check for reviews and testimonials those things matter they really do hello how are you Stylists in my area work part time and are into healthy hair. But see, listen, most of the great ones are hidden. Like when I was standing behind the chair, baby, you could not drive past nowhere in Vegas and be like, sit down, works there. No, I was hidden. You had to know where to look to find me or be on social media because I was all over social media. But other than that, like there are cosmetologists like me that are are not on social media that you are not going to be able to find just walking down the street. Oh, there's a hair salon over there. No, hair salon, hairstylists like me, trust and believe, are up in a uh, solar salon or a minimum of $280 a week for booth rent. So they're not going to have cheap prices. You're not going to be able to do one little Google search. You're probably not going to be able to do that. Yo, baby mama, sister, cousin, friends, Tracy, Nini with the little short leg. She probably don't know her. Let's keep it a book. You're going to have to dig through and look for the good ones, just like everything else in life. Everything else in life, the good ones ain't just sitting there for everybody to see. No. You got to go digging and looking for the good ones, baby. They not just. Because the good ones are trying to stay away from the dusty clients. So they're not there all in the open. You're going to have to dig and look for the good ones. That's why I need all professional cosmetologists that are like me to please email me. Please, please email me. Uh, hit me up on Instagram or email me on on my website, I need you. If you can hear them, I don't know if the oh, I don't know if the mic is picking up my kids screaming, but they're screaming. This lady in Southfield, Michigan. That's what I'm seeing. Listen, they out there. It's good stylists out there. 
they just not gonna be they're not gonna be that easy to find the style is i currently see we talk back and forth for me that makes me feel better thank you because listen let me tell you something if you go into a shop and you didn't see their license they don't have one did you hear me if you went into the shop and you didn't see her license at her state since she don't have one because by law you have to have it up posted at your station we don't put it there for fun my cosmetology license there because my license number was right there and i ain't never messed nobody here up but if i did they could have wrote my license number down and went right to state board and reported me that's how it works hello that's how it go if you don't see a license at the station, most likely she don't or he doesn't have one. No, that. I have been to stylists who don't display their license, but I looked them up. But still, I should have passed on them. Yeah. Like, ooh. there's a reason why. There's a reason why they don't display their license. Just like in your business and what you do for a living, it's some inner stuff that don't nobody know unless they do what you do. It's stuff in the hair industry that y'all do not know unless y'all are in the hair industry. I don't care how much stuff y'all see here on YouTube. There are things within the hair industry that y'all know nothing about that we do not share. The only thing cosmetologists post online are the things that they want you to see. Know that. Please know that. I booked the consultation and at the end of the consultation, she enough to do on your hair what you wanted. So she gave you to somebody that she knew could. Good ones cannot win for me. That's what you're supposed to do. If, if you do you, a uh, um, consultation, somebody booked a color consult with me, and she was an Asian woman, and she had, had a black hair color in her hair that was really hard, and it was box hair color. And she wanted me to remove that black, that black box hair color, and she wanted to go platinum blonde. Asian hair is the hardest hair to color. Even if it's virgin hair, it is the hardest hair to color because their hair is so thick. Oh, it's so masterful and thick. Oh, my God. Like one strand is like two or three of mine. With just one of their strands. So when I met with her, mind you, her hair was to her back. And going platinum blonde is not my specialty. Can I do it? Yes. Is it my specialty? Absolutely not. And it's definitely not my specialty to the point to do color the hardest hair to color that there is. Asian hair is the hardest to color because it is so thick and beautiful. Like it's, it's really hard to get to certain levels. So it's, it was a, it's a lady that was down the, down the hall. I told y'all about her in our last live. And she was from South Africa. She was a white chick from South Africa. And she was do you think you can like do you think you can color her hair and she was like oh my god yes i said do you have time for her i saw i said i'm sorry i just don't think that i'm gonna be able to do it she was like oh my god thank you so much for your honesty okay and then i took her to her and then she went to her and she gave her what she wanted that cosmetologist didn't do anything wrong my love she met with you she heard what you wanted was honest with you that she could not provide our license to do everything from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet and you do not have to specialize in 
everything. So her giving you to another person was not her being disrespectful. That is what you're taught to do. And to pass it to one of your peers that is more well-versed in that area. And guess what? It happened in reverse. She would have black women come and book her with super thick hair and be like, can you straighten my hair? And she would be like, I'm so sorry, but I do not have the skill level to do that. But I do know a girl down the hall. Can I take you down there? And they would be like, yeah. And then they would come and sit and she would say, hey, you know, she came in for a consult. I don't think I can do it, but I told her how good you were. And I just wanted to know if you if you are available. I wasn't able to do it that day, but me and her talked. She booked a consultation with me to come in later on another day because I couldn't take her right there at that present time because I had a client. So then she booked the consultation for another day. And then she's she was my client for years. She did nothing wrong, babe. That's what you're supposed to do. Because what would have been what would have been real messed up is if she would have been like, all right, I'll do it. And then she would have did your hair knowing she don't know what she's doing and playing in your hair and then your hair fall out. So when you think about it, she really can't win. Sin, do you have any video tutorials on your channel about how to do a roller set flex rest? Um, no, but I'll send I'll put some videos on my community tab to show y'all. Well, that's not true. I do have a video for a flexi rise set. That's not true. So I'll add that. But I don't, I'm just being honest, I don't really do flexi rise sets and road sets on my hair. I don't want to spend that much time. I just blow dry real quick. But I do have one for a flexi rise set. that later i'll add that later <laughs> not far for a time i don't know what i be saying i'm just trying to find the best way to care for my hair because i sweat heavy in my scalp and i work out every day i love silk presses but they never last for me because you sweat in my scalp too so presses are not for um oh hold on lord <sighs> when i was um when i was standing behind a chair before you could book a consultation i mean before you could book a silk me, you had to book a consultation. And the reason you were booking a consultation is so I could figure out if whether or not you were a person who sweated in your scalp. Because if you sweat in your scalp, the silk press is not for you. And the reason that I wouldn't do people's hair if in the silk press, if they sweated in their scalp without um, adding something extra like clip-ins or something like that is because women would literally get a silk press and then go write a review like, I paid all that money and my hair reverted right back. As soon as I woke, I wouldn't do women's hair if they. So that's why, if you are a person who sweats in your scalp, then silk presses may not be for you. You may need to do a roller wrap, where you do your hair in a roller set first, and then take it out those rollers, and then wrap it in a circle. I mean, and then a round brush blow dryer, wrap it in a circle, sit back under the dryer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, did some blood work. My B6 was low. Now I'll take iron. Mm -hmm. You got it. That's what I'm saying. Like everybody do 
do your research. Um, whenever you get ready to join the seven day challenge, just look in the description box of any of um of any of my videos to join, but you can't join the group until you join the challenge. So you have to pay for the seven day challenge first and then you could join the group. Oh, do you like it? eBay. <laughs> Listen, eBay has so many Revere on sale. Uh, we wonder why. Listen, and guess what? Y'all saw the thing is, it was never a good product. It was never a good product. But YouTubers make guap selling it to you. Do you understand that when when I when if I make a video about Revere blow dryer and I have an Amazon link in my description box for you to purchase it for me or a or a, a, a affiliate link from that brand because Amazon be paying pennies. So they got a direct link from Rivers. I don't know what is going on. I really do not. I really, oh. Oh my goodness. I do not I didn't know. Let me see. I'm about to try to um enter the chat on my phone to see if that's going to be better because if not we're just going to um because what happens when i whenever i put a comment on the screen that's what's um that's what slows us down whenever i put whenever the comment switch on the screen because I guess maybe like the weather or something, it like slows things down whenever I um whenever I mess with the comments on the screen. So we yeah yeah um. I do not know what is happening, family. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm about to try to um, do it on my phone. Can you guys hear me? Can 
Okay, how was that? Let me know if you guys can hear me at all. Give me a two if you can hear me in the chat. We're just gonna try this and see how this goes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me in the chat? Can you hear me in the chat? Player. Can you hear a player in the chat? Can you hear me? If not, I'll go back to the mic or we'll just probably wrap it up now because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it is driving me crazy. Two is better now, okay. Oh my God, like, cause literally what, what, what is the player gonna do? I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, okay, we're in here. We're in here now. We're in here. How do they a player when you see me in the streets? Now that you can hear a player. No, you can't. Everything is still the same. It's still whenever I switch things. It's still whenever I switch things. But this is this is as good as it's gonna get today. <sighs> okay. Okay. What's going on? I just changed over from well, y'all stuck with the bullshit for two hours. So ain't nothing else I can tell. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Lord. I'm peachy. Am I peachy now? Am I peachy now, guys? <laughs> Am I peachy now, guys? Okay. Okay. I love y'all. Okay. Because I was listening. I was getting irritated to tell. So, yeah, I really want us to get into that. I really want us to be at a place where we can, like, really, really receive from each other. I want us to be at a place where we can really have conversations without offense. I want us to get to a place where we're not, like, always in our feelings about stuff. Ooh, Sam said we don't love ourselves. God made us to be black with curly hair. It's like, y'all, get the freak over it bro like let's do something else let's move past this but the, the thing is it's really hard for people to move past things and get to the science of hair when when the professionals don't know either so y'all have to take back the accountability everybody has to take back the accountability it's you it's you Take your accountability back. Learn your body. Learn yourself. It's you. It's you. You have to figure it out. Ah. And don't get mad at me, but don't leave it up to your cosmetologist. Don't leave it up to her. It's your head. Don't leave it up to her. It's you. It's your head. Don't leave it to her. It's your head. You're the one who needs to know. You. Thank you, boo. We're going to go for like another 30 minutes. And then we're going to sign on up off of here.
What serum would you suggest? Um, the camera one is no longer available. So Kira has multiple serums. And then I don't, listen, I don't have, I don't, a serum is a serum. That's YouTube stuff. I need y'all to get off that. I'm not on that. I, a serum is a serum. It's just certain things that I don't like, like like coconut oil or certain stuff like that. It's certain additives that I don't like, like aloe and stuff like that. But other than that, a serum is a serum. If you don't go get a serum, get a serum. Listen, it's just, think about it like this. It's just like Nike, right? It's just like the whole thing with Nike and all of that. Or not Nike, Lord. Uh, with like product lines and, and clothing stores, right? When it comes to clothing stores, you'll go to Gucci and you'll spend all of these, all this money on these pants by Gucci, not even knowing that the same pants that you spent all of that money on with some true religion jeans or something and the, the jeans that was uh, $6 at Ross was made in, on the same machine. And the only difference between the, the jeans from another company but the, from true religion and the jeans that's at Ross is the name tag on the pants. But it's the same exact, everything on the pants is the same. It's the same thing for products. It don't a serum is a serum. Get a serum. A serum is a serum. You hear me? A serum is a serum. Maybe I stop letting them play with you. A serum is a serum. The seven day challenge explains how you should wear your hair daily. Don't get mad at me, but I don't, I'm not one of those people that's like, but do this style this week. Like when we, we were supposed to stop wearing our hair in 50 million different styles when we were little girls. As a grown woman, boo, pick a couple of looks for the year and filter through. And those are the type of things that I teach you in the seven day challenge. But I don't do like, I'm a cosmetologist. I don't do 50 million different hairstyles. I believe hairstyles are for special occasions. So I'm going to teach you how you're supposed to wear your hair on a regular to have good length retention practices and things of that nature. But I don't give, oh, do this hairstyle and use this for this and put this part right here and do, I don't do that. But it, it definitely tells you exactly what to do. Yes. Oh, you, when you have braids, there's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do when you have braids. You're supposed to leave your hair alone. Like that's why the person who braids your hair is supposed to know how to set your bond properly. And the only time I add oil to the hair at all is when I'm adding it to the hair shaft. If I'm about to braid the hair and then I will add like shea bay butter to the hair shaft, but not a whole lot because I don't want it on the scalp. It's just for the ends, the very, very ends. I have an ebook on that. So I break things down there. It's a group effort. The professional works with you to maintain maximum health with your hair. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. I've been paying top dollar for Burberry frames and they have the same. Yeah. Yeah. The same. Everything's the same. There's no difference. Like the, I, um, I have one of my pairs of my glasses are Ray Bans, and it does it does it's the same company. It's the same. The difference is the logo. That's it. That's all. When I was selling hair products, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying nothing bad, but I'm not saying nothing bad about it. When I was selling hair products, the very first brand that I started using, and you know the real big booty Judy, we were all. All of us, all of the hairstylists that were out there around the same time, I'm sure y'all remember, um, oh my God, her name is slipping me right now. She got the education channel. It's just, it's just slipping me right now. I can't think. You didn't come to me. We were all using the same brand. It's called My Very Own Products. The website is still up right now. You can go, it's My Very Own Products. Go in there right now. You can start your own product line. We were all using that one. And then she cornered the market. She ended up 
um, she ended up hitting them up and like, hey, don't sell these miracle drops to nobody else. And then none of us could purchase them no more. And then she went ham promoting them. And there you go. There go miracle drops. That's what happened. <laughs> Most people would know that because you're not in the industry, so you wouldn't know. Hey, Sin, is it okay to use Oplex 0, 3, 4, 5, and 6 if my hair isn't severely damaged? Yes, it's not only for damaged hair, it's for prevention too. I love you. Thank you, boo. I remember going to a beauty supply, a uh, beauty salon, getting my hair flat iron, and she pulled out those old crusted residue buildup flat irons. And I told her, I asked her if she had any flat irons better than that. But this is the thing. You, that was your fault. You should have booked the consultation. If you would have booked the consultation, you would have saw those funky ass flat irons and you would have never been sitting in her chair to begin with. Do I wear a bonnet at night? Uh, it depends, but I always put a wrap on before I put on the bonnet so my hair is not rubbing, uh, the bonnet not rubbing on my edges. Yeah, if you sweating your scalp, then don't put nothing on it. Yep, that is the one. Right. <sighs> How are you supposed to keep your hair so pressed if you're sweating under a bonnet? And the thing is, you who told y'all to keep a, a silk wrap and a bonnet don't even go together? You can't, like, what? What is the bonnet for? I'll show y'all in the video coming soon what I... Well, actually, I, I, I have a video where I showed y'all already, but I'll do it again in one coming soon. Thank you. Yes, I switch between braids and silk presses. That's it. Sometimes the sew-in and my braid to make sure my health comes first. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. That's all. It's simple. I'm a straight natural, but I'm going in for a cleansing, blowout, and trim, possibly a silk press. There's nothing to say. Did you When you book the consultation, just tell her that and say, tell her what your porosity is. But this is the thing. You go on the altar, you don't really have to worry about her talking about no rice water, no apple cider vinegar, no, no, she's going to be using the products that are in there. And for the most part, I mean, there are some team natural products in Alta, but for the most part, they're professional products in Alta, like Balayage and, and Paul Mitchell and Kimbra and like, so you don't really have to worry about that. Like, you going for something pretty basic, but you just telling her, like, hey, you know, this is my porosity. These are my issues. These are the problems that I'm having. And to be honest, you're you're looking for certain things that you don't want her to say. Like, if she's trying to give you an apple cider vinegar treatment, if she's trying to tell you to go home and sleep in conditioner and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, if you going to see a stylist at Alta, she's not going to be doing that. Most of the cosmetologists that are at Alta are still doing the stuff that they learned in school so you should be okay i'm just being real and that's what i mean like if you gotta go to Alta, then you can but i just don't want to i just, to be honest i just don't want to go there all to let all to be your last resort like you can't find nobody else nowhere so you like, okay, I'm going to go to her real quick for her to do this. But if you, like, that's not. Let me say it like this. Women who can take walk-ins at Alta are not people who have a whole lot of experience or booked up. If you could walk in, if anybody could walk in, I don't know. Uh, Check my Amazon store. All the th uh, products that I recommend are there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Silk press, silk wrap. Scarf, no bonnet. Yes, yes. You got it. My hair is relaxed and that's what I choose. So I like roller sets and getting under the dryer. Yes. Yes. Silk pillowcase. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you not changing your pillowcases at least once a week, baby, you got to do better. <laughs> oh, I love you.
love you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I've been following you for years. I've been maintaining the health of my hair on my own. See, you got it. Well, then this is the thing. The only well, you're fine. So then in that case, that means that you're probably just going to her for a trim. So in that case, you just tell her, hey, I just need my scalp clear. Just be very intentional. Tell her exactly what you want and tell her what you don't want. Don't be adding. Don't be making up shit. Don't be mixing nothing. Don't be. But what you're going in for is literally the basic of the basics of the basics. So you're fine. That's like you're fine. You're welcome, boo. Flat irons don't work well on me. That's not true. You're just not either you or the person who's doing it isn't doing it right. It, it works on everybody. It's, it works on every. Let me tell you something. There is not a texture walking the face of this earth that I can't get bone silky straight. And I have the hundreds of videos to prove it. I have never met a woman whose hair I couldn't get silky straight. And I used to get women to come in like, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it like that. And they'd be like, oh my God, Sid, oh my God. Because it's about the blowout. It don't have nothing to do with the flat iron. I booked my stylist six months in advance. Yeah, baby. If you could just walk in and be like, hey, can I get my hair done today? Hmm. Hey, can I book a consultation? Come back tomorrow. Hmm. I have low porosity. I have just started design essentials, leave-in conditioner, but notice that it has silk protein in it. Should I? Stop using this to me, yep, Should you retouch a silk press? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Sure shouldn't. I don't really need a consultation. Sin just speaks on Olaplex a lot. And I was thinking about purchasing. I have a stylist. Listen, if your stylist is not familiar with Olaplex, do not listen, girl. First of all, I don't know how you go into a hairstylist that isn't familiar with Olaplex. And Olaplex has been out since 2009. So I don't even understand how your... I just don't even understand. I just don't even understand. I'm not being rude, but I don't even understand. I just don't get it. But if you don't, girl, Olaplex is a molecule. Do not go purchase nothing that she, if she don't know how to use it, she ain't going to know how to use it when you get there. Do not go to somebody that you have to teach. Why would you, don't get mad at me. Why would you pay somebody to do something for you and you have to teach them how to do it? Make it make sense. Like, I'm not being rude, but come on. Like, come on, dog. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to keep it real aroni. Like, I'm just trying to keep it real aroni. It don't make no sense. I'm just trying to keep it real aroni. Don't be mad. But no, no. Like, I would never, never. Listen, you're not bring. I don't. I, I, I lost clients before, which I didn't care. I didn't want her. You were not bringing any of your products to my shop. What? No. The only time a client could ever bring her own products in my shop is if is if she if it if it was recommended by her dermatologist because she had some type of follicle infection. Other than that, girl, you're not bringing nothing in my shop. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. That's like bringing your that's like bringing your doctor when they about to do surgery on you. You bringing him in the scalpel. Like what? No. What are you talking about? No. Go home. If do it yourself. If you got to bring stuff. Like, no, if you have to bring in Olaplex, she should not be using it, period. Just period. There, there's nothing else. I don't have anything else. If you have to bring in Olaplex to a cosmetologist, 
she should not be using it on your hair, period. And you shouldn't be going to nobody that you got to teach. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not being rude. It's just like, what, what are we doing? Because this is the thing. You can't get mad that somebody's messing up your hair and you're bringing in products for them to you. Like, y'all, I, oh, Lord. It just, that's, as you can see, that's a pet peeve of mine, play them. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, exactly. The soap pillow. Because it's for me. I went to get my hair soap pressed when I was washing my hair. I asked for a trim. She said, you didn't have to ask. I was going to do that because I felt like you needed it when I was washing your hair. Yep. Listen. Listen to me. I used to work at Alta. That's what I'm saying. Alta only uses professional products. I don't. I haven't been in Alta in a long time because I I only go to Cosmoprof. So I don't shop at Alta. I only go to Cosmoprof. But the last time I checked, I never. I didn't see, uh, like Kaleidoscope products or as I am. Well, maybe as I am would be in there. But most of y'all Team Natural products are not in Alta. Team Natural products are not in Alta. They don't all make it to Alta, guys. I'm very blunt, so I got you. Thank you so much. No problem. Yes, boo. Wait, what happened? Oh, what is Kaleidoscope? It's not, I mean, she cool. Um... She 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 sells stuff. She be selling product and then her and her wife just had a baby or mm hmm Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. She blessed. That's all. She blessed. Blessed. That's all I got. She blessed. Blessed. That's all I got. I ain't got nothing else to say. Yeah, don't ask for anything crazy. Don't ask for nothing crazy. Just keep it real simple. You just go in there for a scalp detox, a deep conditioning treatment, get your hair. But that's, watch, it's going to be good. It's really simplistic. Girl, even if you ain't want to get your hair straightened, it, especially even if she ain't, if she ain't, um, if she not black girl, don't nobody round brush like a white girl, okay? But just make sure you tell her it's okay, like you're not going to hurt me. That was always about the blowout. That's what I'm saying. Olaplex is old as hell. So if your stylist don't know how to use it, she probably just became a stylist yesterday. What the hell? You don't know how to use Olaplex and you a cosmetologist. What, are you, what have you been doing? Playing with your toes? What have you been doing? Flicking your nipples? I'm confused. What the hell have you been doing all this time? I'm so confused. What have you been doing? Playing with your toes? I don't understand. Now, if she just uses a different bond reconstructor, then okay. That's fine. She can use that bond reconstructor. She doesn't have to use Olaplex. Olaplex isn't the only bond reconstructor on the market. It's the best one, but it's not the only one. So if she just uses another bond reconstructive treatment, that's okay. But if she just don't know what it is, you should probably go to somebody who know what the hell it is. I'm just saying. Girl, you, I, it's, I can't see Girl, you better you you better you better send it all the way back. Five hundred dollars on a glory hole. Y'all spending. Ooh, don't get me started. Don't bring up the blow dryer because y'all know when I when I get when y'all bring up that blow dryer, it 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 makes nipples itch. You spend five hundred dollars. Listen, and I don't care who fell away. Everybody who got it, you don't know what the hell is in that hole. You can't see. Put your eye in there. Put go ahead and look. Look. Put your phone in. Put your phone right there. You ain't gonna see nothing. It's darkness. It's a dark hole you stick in your hand into. And there is a reason. Let me tell you something. Whenever something goes on sale, 
give it about six to eight months. No, give it about a year before all of the negative reviews start coming up. They're not putting something on sale that is getting positive reviews and positive responses. They're putting things on sale that are being fucking returned over and over again. That's how the game go. So if it's on sale, it's because they've been getting a lot of returns. If it's on sale, it's because it ain't hitting the way that the YouTubers made y'all think that it's hitting. Y'all better get into it. Girl, tell them to play with their mamas. Tell them to play with their mamas. Not you. Tell them to play with their mamas. Because right now, the only person they've been playing with is y'all. And they're playing you like a fiddle. A fiddle in the middle. A fiddle tittle in the middle. A fiddle tittle diddle in the middle, baby. That's all my hairstylists use on my hair is Olaplex. That's what I'm talking now. That girl, you you need to put your your stylist stuff in the chat. You probably like I'm not putting her stuff nowhere. It's certain cosmetologists don't use nothing but Olaplex. So you didn't ran into one that don't even know what the hell it is, girl. You run into one that don't know what it is. You say, uh, I'm gonna be right back. There's a reason, girl, girl, this girl, hmm, girl, listen, girl, hmm, listen, find a new one, find your new one. That's like going to the nail shop and her like, uh, can you bring your own polymer and monomer? Can you, and can you bring your own nail polish? Oh, I need some, I need some, um, some nail glue too for your tips. Can you bring the nail glue and the press ons? You would be like, what? But it's okay for you to take your own products to the shop and then you go complain about how your hair turned out. Your hair is not going to turn out the way that you wanted if you brought the shit to the shop. It's just that, it's just that simple. There's nothing else. Every time I find a stylist, six months in, sits are happy, I'm sure weekly, and I end up looking like a bald head skittle diddle, you finding the wrong hairstylist. It's just, you're fine. Y'all are finding the wrong stylist. It's just as simple as that. I've never, like, y'all finding the wrong stylist. And then, and then I need you to ask yourself really in real life, because I had a client who only came to see me after she took her braids out. And every time she took her braids out, her hair was more damaged than it was the time before that. So you got to ask yourself, was she scissor happy or was your hair just really damaged, more damaged than you really thought it was? Because most women are in denial about the health of their hair. So that's a question that you got to ask yourself. Because a lot of women who walk around thinking that they have healthy hair don't really have healthy hair. Listen, I'm not knocking a quarter or a nickel or a dime off because you bought your own products. So you might as well just leave them at home and let me do what I do. Because you got your products from Sally's and I got my products from Cosmoprof. Cosmoprof and Sally's are owned by the same company. But Cosmoprof is the professional version of Sally's that you can only walk in with a cosmetology license, a barber's license, or something in the industry. You can't just walk into Cosmoprof. Well, you can walk in, but you can't pay for nothing. You gonna get to the counter they're gonna be like let me see your license or your cosmoprof card you can only get a cosmoprof card with a license so do i have to beat the streets to find out who's using other players i don't know just go online at hashtag Olaplex hair solids. Olaplex, not Olaplex style. Like, just you gonna have to really look for it and stop blue. Team Natural, Twist Out, Washing Goals, Set, Apple Cider, AVC, all of y'all favorite Team Natural. Stop doing that because the ones like me aren't gonna have anything to do with it. So y'all not going to be able to do y'all team natural practices and find a cosmetologist like me because most cosmetologists like me don't take, girl, I wouldn't do it. Somebody booked me talking about they wanted a twist out or a wash and go. They were washing and going and taking their ass home and doing it they self. I, will, I don't do that. I'm not, I didn't spend all that time in school to play in your hair. I'm not doing that. 
I'm not taking Olaplex to my appointment. I want to use it at home to maintain the health of my hair. Okay. All right. I was going to say, if she, she dusty as hell, you taking that in there. Trying the blow drying. Oh, my God. Relearning for real. Yeah. I also wear U parts for about two weeks and still press one. Oh yes, baby, that's my routine. Um, the I, my routine is I'll do my silk press for about a week before my hair started getting super oily and sweating out, and then after that, after that, I go ahead and follow up um with like a U part. Like week two, I don't feel like washing my hair, so I'll do like a U part for week two. Then I, I'll wash my hair. Um, I'll wash my hair and blow dry it and then I do a U part again only if I'm filming. I'll do a U part again, but I'll use my U part that is like a blown out texture and then yeah. She doesn't talk about all the things she used to do. She pushes on some products and acts like it never happened. Girl, listen, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. They all act like it never happened. All of the YouTubers that told y'all to put monocet in your hair, they're like, what? I didn't tell them to put coochie cream. Yes, you did. My nigga, the internet is forever. And I remember everything because I used to have to tell my clients not to do it. I used to have women come in, hey, Sam, can you use this conditioner in my hair? Did you hear about the monostat trend? I used to have women bring in their own homemade conditioner that had monostat in it asking me to put it in their hair. And I would be like, no, I'm not doing that. Girl. It was on sale. Three, listen, my entire career, I have never spent that much money on a tool. Never in my entire career. When I say y'all be getting screwed in the butt with no lube, bro, in the middle of the winter time, do you know how painful that is? In Detroit, Michigan, at, at, at the peak of the winter time, in the butt with no lube, that's what's happening to y'all with these products. $349 for a freaking blow dryer is insanity. What? I was doing 13, 14 people a day. I would never... Not to mention, it was five hundred, almost six hundred dollars to start. Now it's it's girl. Ooh, listen, I wish I had you in my ear before I bought. Listen, I got it on Black Friday. I think it'd be. Listen, look, y'all, look, do what y'all look. When I tell y'all, the team natural has been. I'm in the butt. No loop. How do y'all go from not blow drying y'all hair at all to sticking your hair in a random hole that you can't even see inside and pressing a button? Wish for the best. And you spend $300. That's some, like, y'all, if y'all don't see how y'all being played. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Now, the time all okay. Like, Timo, okay, you spend, I say, no more than, no more than like one something on the blow dryer. Three, four hundred, I would never, 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 ever, 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 ever. If it was, yeah, that's why I both say if it was this Black Friday, that's that's your glory hole. That is your hole for the glory. Yes, God. Yes. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Okay, Lord. Which it was the coochie cream. Please tell me, give me a two, please, before I go to start dinner. Please tell me, did y'all saw that? The coochie cream. Don't, let's not, let's not pretend. Let's not pretend. Let's not do it again. Y'all saw that. And if y'all didn't, give me a five. If Because if I get enough fives, I'm going to do a reaction video to it because I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm sick of everybody acting like they don't remember dusty stuff that it did. You, you remember. You remember the time you used that coochie cream? Do you remember the time? 
Mm, you use that Gucci cream, do you remember the time? Do you remember the time? You use that Gucci cream. Yes, Olaplex has certified stylists in the site. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Just go on the website and just check to see who out there. But seeing I've been following you for years and I love your advice and appreciate it. I have only went to this stylist once when I started my healthy hair journey in November. Well, guess what? You need to go to somebody else. If she if she has the ability for you to bring your own stuff, go to somebody else. Because if a if a stylist has if a stylist lets you bring her your own stuff, that means she doesn't have any set patterns and routines set up that she won't divert from. The reason that I didn't allow anybody to bring their own products isn't because I thought I was better. It's because I had a set pattern and routine that I refused to divert from. So you were not bringing your own stuff to my shop because I do hair a certain way and your products are not, that's not a thing. Is it okay to roller set and then only flat arm the roots? Yeah, that's fine. Sure is. Yeah, I ain't never spent $100 on any professional thermostyling tool. Of my blowouts and silk presses be fired. That's, listen, here, this is another professional cosmetologist. This is another professional cosmetologist, and she would never spend three, four, five hundred $500 on no blow dryer. Listen, they hit us first. Please understand that these brands do not hit the market and the Come to the professional first. We say no. They be like, forget y'all. We gonna go to YouTubers. And YouTubers always say yes. Always. Always. I'm not making it up. Here's another cosmetologist right here. She would never. What? We not getting no three, four hundred dollar blow dryer. What? That's insanity. It's crazy. What are we talking about? <laughs> You can't hear nothing. You can't hear nothing for real. Give me a two if you can't hear nothing. Why are you like this? What I do? Yeah. Oh, Michael Jackson. Do you remember the time with that cool jet cream? I was really mean. <laughs> Get your ass out my shop with your cool jet cream. Yeah. I'm trying to find a good routine for my hair as I am active, work out in advance. Mm -hmm. You can binge watch my videos or you can join the challenge. Yeah, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video on the coochie cream because people acting like they don't remember. You remember. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. I who, me? Yes, you, Shalissa. You and the coochie cream, Shalissa. You and all of your friends and the coochie cream, Shalissa. Yes, I'm about to walk out in the hallway. My kids are screaming. I'm sorry. And my husband is being ghetto, playing music. So I'm just going to keep talking so I don't get flagged as I preheat the oven. I was just saying that out loud, so he'll turn to me. <laughs> Baby, can you call it out, please? Honey? Babe, are you ignoring me? Can you season the chicken, please? My husband on that board, y'all. And I'm trying to retain my length, which is long, but I just don't want to keep growing. I just wanted to keep growing healthy and five for the Gucci cream because I remember them doing it. That's what I'm saying. Like the Gucci cream got replaced with rice water. Rice water got replaced with apple cider vinegar. And all while you're, everybody was doing everything, they was like, twist out, wash and go, and then put your Gucci cream. Then wash and go with the coochie cream. 
Like it's been happening the whole time. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They're going to keep selling the blow dryer because the blow dryer is $500. So if I'm getting 15, 25% commission on a five, almost $600 blow dryer, and I get all of my clients to get one, or I get all of my followers to get one, and like, think about it. I have, if I have over a hundred thousand subscribers and each one of my video hit at least 10,000 views and I, I promote this blow dryer that's $500 and I'm getting 15 to 25% of that $500, multiply that percentage times. And this is the thing, even let's say the video got, let's say the video, a video get a hundred thousand views, right? If only a thousand people out of those 500,000 views or out of those 50,000 views, if only a thousand people buy a blow dryer, buy the blow dryer, just imagine how many freaking clients, I mean, how much money you're going to make in commission. Like, come on, y'all. Like, if we, like, come on. Come on. Like, like for real, let's be for real. Let's really, really be for real. Is it rocket science that everybody's like, Revere, then you go on Pinterest, you go on Pinterest, that's all you see. Do you know how much guap you can make on Pinterest? On Pinterest, people are literally going on there just to search for stuff. If I add a link, a, a affiliate link to Revere Blow Dryer and I'm getting... 25 to 35 whatever 15 to 25 whatever the percentage is on a five almost six hundred dollar blow dryer i'm in 20 commission and i put that shit on pinterest what on my pinterest on pinterest you get so many clicks every any the only reason people go on pinterest the only reason people go on pinterest is to search for things to buy so it a million clicks on a pen that's sending people directly to the website that I'm going to get 25% commission on. You think I'm not going to promote it? That's what's happened to y'all. And y'all fell for the shit. Y'all fell for the okie doke. That's what happened. Nothing more and nothing less. Nothing more and nothing less. B they been getting guap promoting that blow dryer. Do you hear me? Hell yeah, they going to tell you it's good. They're getting... 15 to 25 or more commission on a $500 tool. Hell yeah, I'm going to tell you it's the best thing out. What you mean? What you mean? And brushes and combs are bad. And with the Revere, you don't have to brush or comb your hair. All you got to do is stick it in a hole and press the button. Whoa, this is best for naturals. You can blow dry your hair without combs or brushes. Like the hairstylists do. And y'all all fell for the shit. And once they got enough of your money for their next project, now they is the shit is on sale. It didn't went from $500. It, it didn't went from $600 to five, pushing four to three and bet money. By this time next year, that shit going to be about $85. And by and two, three years from now, that shit going to be in Ross. Watch. Girl, stop doing me. I've been in this for years. I've been doing this for years. Stop playing. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing. Let's let's stop it. Won't you take me to bullshit town? Won't you take me to bullshit town? That's where y'all been. Listen. You don't remember it at all? Well, guess what? I remind you. We gonna do we gonna do a recap of the coochie cream. Yes, we will. Yes, we are. We gonna go far. Yes, we will because I'm over it. I'm over it, team coochie cream. Yep, we going back there because I'm I'm not. We're not about to play. We're not about to play like we don't know. I love you. Thank you. Make sure, like she said, you book a one on one consultation with me if you need a little bit more help. Yeah, this video I'm not going up to tomorrow, y'all. I've literally been trying to edit this video 
all day. Like since I want to say I started at seven. Well, not I've been done editing, but uploading. So I think it's it's something with internet period or something today. She was okay. Everything happens for a reason. It was quiet for a long time. Yeah. I don't know. No, they've been quiet this whole time. I've just been in my room with the door closed. Uh, some, oh, I'm making pasta. I love y'all. I can't y'all go go. Yeah, start from the beginning or go to the go to my other videos. I watched two professional cosmetologists on YouTube that was promoting the river. Listen, and they got guap for promoting that shit. You hear me? You think they ain't reach out to me? You think they didn't reach out to me? When I listen, because I worked with them before on something else, but not the that blow jar. It was years ago, way before that blow jar ever came out. And so they didn't initially, they didn't ask me for the, to work with them with the Revere blow dryer. Initially, they were just like, hey, Sam, we would like to work with you, blah, 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 blah. So I said, okay, like, what is your promotional offer? That's what I would say every time. And then when we talked money, once we talked money, they agreed to my price, which was 2500 for what they were asking for. And then when they told me that what it was, when I said, okay, well, send me the brief, send me the product brief and uh, the product, blah, blah, blah. And then when I got the product brief, it was that. And I said, no, thank you. I'm okay. Oh, are you sure? This is great. It would be really lucrative for you and your client. Da, 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 da. Like, no, I'm okay. So what? Like, it's not. But they didn't have a problem paying twenty five hundred. So understand that the people who are promoting it are not doing it for free. They're not doing it because it's a great product. They're doing it because they got bands for it. Let's let's get it real. My most expensive blow dryer was a hundred dollars. My twenty five dollar blow dryer works good on my clients here, and that goes for flat irons also. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Let's get into it. What are we talking about? Licensed cosmetologists are not would never go spend five six hundred dollars on no blow dryer. What? That's insanity, nigga. That's my boo friend for two weeks. I don't have to pay my boo friend for two weeks for no blow dryer, huh? Listen, one of my favorite blow dryers is Hot Tools, and Hot Tools blow dryer ain't that one like twenty dollars? Like after tax, it's twenty dollars. I think it's like nineteen dollars and something. It's like one of the best blow dryers out, and it's nineteen dollars. Five hundred dollars for a blow dryer is crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, your math not off. What are we talking about? It's stupid money out here. If y'all think that these people are promoting these hundred dollar products to y'all for the low, y'all are y'all are. Come on, look at the numbers. If the video got five hundred thousand views. And you bought one, trust and believe other people bought one. And multiply that commission times those amount of people. Stop playing with me. Girl, stop playing. Won't you take me to bullshit town? Won't you take me to bullshit town? They all got that dollar, but they all... Now, yeah, yeah, pay attention, pay attention. Nobody's been paying attention. When y'all start paying attention, you can see how all of the docs connect. Blow drying the hair without combing it. It don't sound right, but that's what everybody doing. That's what everybody doing. I love y'all, but that's what everybody doing. So if we can all be like real with ourselves, if we can all be like 100% real and authentic, I think we would get somewhere. But at this point, we're not doing that. So we're not getting anywhere. And in my opinion, that will forever be the issue. The fact that nobody is accountable. The fact that nobody is like really like being honest. Nobody's really being accountable. Nobody's really telling the truth about anything. So everybody just like making shit up as they go. What else are you supposed to do?
What else are you supposed to do? Hmm? My people. Yes. I love you. Thank you, Pooh. You guys, make sure that you're paying attention to all of the links that she's adding because you guys can join my website. And when you join my website, like, we have all of these chats and all of these conversations in the group if you ask. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not just in there talking if ain't nobody talking. But if you ask a question, I'm answering you in the group. So. Oh. I'm going to give y'all a couple seconds to ask a couple more questions. And I'm after I delete this stuff off my laptop, I'm about to go. Let me see. All right, y'all. So there's not going to be a video tonight, but we've been here for three hours. So I think that that's more than enough. Um, But I really want you guys to um, start binge, watch, binge watching some of my content so that way you guys will know the difference between a good cosmetologist and one that is on that A1, A grade bullshit. So that way you're not going to be a person that's easily manipulated. That way you won't be a person who is is easily swayed and talked into doing a whole bunch of stupid stuff that you don't need to do to your hair. You know the science of hair, so nobody can play you. That is why, excuse me, I make the type of videos that I make. It is not to embarrass cosmetologists. It is not to embarrass hairstylists or YouTubers or anything like that. It's to put everybody in a place and to get make everybody really wake up. That's cosmetologists too. All of the cosmetologists that's been playing in hair, all of the cosmetologists that forgot what they learned in school, all y'all wake up and go back to the go back to the basics. Go back to the things that you learned in cosmetology school and stop playing in your client's hair. Stop. Everybody. If you are a cosmetologist that is listening to the sound of my voice, stop playing in people's hair. You cannot blend in with the ones that didn't go to cosmetology school. You literally wasted money. What you spend, depending on what school you went to, you could have spent like sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. What you spend all that money for to go to school if you just gonna blend in with the girls who didn't? That makes no sense. The reason that there's so much confusion and the reason that everybody look at me like I'm crazy, like I'm making up stuff, is because the other girls who went to school are talking the same stupid shit that the girls who didn't go to school is talking. So everybody looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm making up shit when in reality, I'm not making up nothing. I'm doing what we've always done. I'm doing the things that we're supposed to do. Y'all need to stop playing in hair. Stop playing in hair and beef up because most of y'all cosmetologists too scared to lose clients. Y'all too scared to tell them no. So y'all keep doing it. And then before you know it, all of the cosmetologists that's like me walking around looking dumb. Like they looking, they looking at cosmetologists like me and sis, like we extra, like, oh, she bougie. She thinks she better. I am. What are you talking about? I went to school to learn something and you did it. What are you talking about? I didn't go to medical school. So when I went in to see my OBGYN, she's better than me in that sense. Hell yeah. I don't know shit about what she know. The same, the same OBGYN that was, that was checking on me is the same OBGYN that cut my body open and pulled my child out. The same woman. I can't do that. I'm not about to argue with her. I need to stay in my lane. Black women, stay in your lane. If you have not been to cosmetology school, if you've never researched the human body, stay in your lane. And if you meet a cosmetologist that tries to get you out of your lane and in hers, find another one. I'm sorry. And it's so crazy that that, that, uh, that bothers. It's only like five or six people that left. But when I start talking like that, people leave because black women have a problem with, with another woman saying, you don't no, you don't. You do not know what you're talking about. You do not know. You don't. And that's okay. That is okay. 
But because you don't know, you are not an expert. And because you are not an expert, you cannot argue with somebody who is. And the cosmetologists that are out here that actually went to cosmetology school beef up. And stand in your place. And when they come with Team Natural shit, tell them, go do your hair yourself or go do your Team Natural stuff. I don't do hair like that. I stick to the science. And if the majority of cosmetologists were sticking to the science, all of the hair, all of the customers would be sticking to the science, too. The woman that was in this video, she said that saying, if you didn't tell me, I would have said, OK, these women trust you. They trust you. And because they trust you, you have a responsibility to actually do the shit that you learned in school. You did not learn to put blueberries and, and, and raspberries and fucking rice nipple juice and pickle juice in your client's hair. You didn't learn none of that. We did not have no food bar, no food pantry at, at school where we went and made smoothies and put it in our client's hair. No, you got that shit from YouTube. You got that from YouTube. So I need all of y'all to get to it. Like, get to it. Because if the cosmetologist wasn't on the bullshit, nobody else would be. If the majority of women, if the majority of professional cosmetologists stuck to the science like I do, we would not have this problem. But the majority of cosmetologists are, are mixed in with the girls that's playing in here. So women don't know the difference between a, a real cosmetologist and a chick that's playing in hair. They have no fucking clue because the cosmetologists are playing in hair too. Sorry. Horse oil. Yes, I sure do. Ooh. I'm, I'm, and I'm doing it for you, Cosmo. I'm doing it for you, sis. I'm doing it for you. You're welcome, baby. Listen, cosmetology school was not cheap. I just got done paying off my student loans on God, like last year. So, yeah, love y'all. Video coming tomorrow. So y'all probably going to get two videos in one day because the video that's supposed to be going up tomorrow is still going up tomorrow. So y'all probably going to get a video in the morning and then at night. So real quick before we go, I need y'all to tell me like what is y'all favorite times of the day to post? Is it like late at night? Do you prefer like late night posts like 6 p.m.? Or would you prefer, do you prefer like early morning posts? Not lives, but like just posts, all around posts. All right, beat. Yes, ma'am. Listen. Okay. Evening. Anytime. Or any place. I do. <laughs> Why do I want to sing everything and I can't sing? Okay. All right. Well, I got you, baby. So, in closing, this ain't to y'all. This is to hairstylists. And only the dusty ones. All y'all dusty ass hairstylists still putting rice nipple juice in y'all client's hair and pickle juice in y'all client's hair. You put apple cider vinegar in your client's hair. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. And tonight I'm going to pray that the spirit of the Lord gives you a dream. And I hope you dream about being chased around by somebody who smells like, like, like rancid apple cider vinegar, rancid pickle juice. I actually, I hope you get chased by a pickle holding two apple cider vinegar bottles is what I hope. That's what I want. Every cosmetologist, if you, if you promoting, oh, put apples in your hair, apples and oranges and blueberries, you promoting food in your hair and you're a licensed cosmetologist. I'm, a, I'm, I'm talking to God tonight and I'm going to pray that you get chased around by a whole fruit basket. 
I'm afraid of all your clients all wake you up in the middle of the night and just start hitting you with fruits and vegetables. That's what I pray. Because I'm I'm sick of it. And what else? The 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 what you call that thing? Um <laughs> No Rivera blow dryer. Cause y'all gonna be telling all, all y'all clients to get a damn Rivera blow dryer. I hope that y'all all have a dream that y'all get chased around by some big by by a big fat white man <laughs> with two Rivera blow dryers in both hands. And I hope he chase you around pressing a button like, come on, let me put him on your nipples. Ugh. Like I hope he chase you around. <laughs> trying to suck your nipples up in it since you want to be telling everybody to buy one for six hundred dollars telling them to buy a hundred dollar nipple sucker i hope that's your dream for you hmm? so sweet dreams were made of this so you need to stop with the bullshit on social media because if you don't you are going to be chased around with those things and him trying to suck your nipples up and you're going to be getting smacked with fruit punch and the dream going to come every day until you stop telling people to put rice nipple juice in their hair. Oh, and then the one who, it was another one, the one from earlier today, she said she told her to sleep overnight in some, in some clay. So for you, clay girl, for all you overnight sleepers, the clay girl, mm -hmm. Miss Kalei, girl, I hope you have a dream that you <laughs> laying down, like you go to like hot springs or something. And it's like, ooh, look at all of the clay in the hot springs. And you do overnight. And I pray that it, it's, <laughs> it's like a little fat little dude from We Represent the Lollipop Kids. I hope it's them. And I hope they all covered in it. And they just come on sleep with us overnight and you get locked in a bag with the clay conditioner. I pray you get locked in a bag of conditioner with the lollipop kids from Munchkin Land all night, a couple nights. Since you keep telling your clients to 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 sleep in conditioner. That's what I play. Yes. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all. And the Lord is sick of y'all too. You know how I know the Lord is sick of y'all because. All of the women that listen to y'all, they be like, I'm going to put rice nipple juice in my hair. I'm going to put pickle juice in here. <laughs> I'm going to sleep in conditioner. You know what's happening? They all like, Lord, I come boldly before your form of grace, Lord. And I'm asking you, Lord, I'm, I'm nothing, Lord. I'm nothing but somebody with broken ends and mushy hair. And I would, if you could just find it in your spirit, Lord. To open up your arms and make my hair. God is sick of talking to them. And they God's sick of hearing it too. And so you're going to be in trouble now. You are now going to be the one in trouble for all of this rice nipple juice that all of these people have been using. And God is now holding you accountable, rice nipple girl. God is holding you accountable, apple cider vinegar girl. If you have a cosmetology license and you put an apple cider vinegar in your clientele, you need your ass whooped by the Holy Spirit. And not the same Holy Spirit that y'all talking about in the Bible. Not that one. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit that's putting holes in your clothes for the bullshit. It's annoying. It is irritating. Okay? It is irritating. And y'all think I'm bullshitting, but I'm not. And watch. Y'all gonna start having y'all hairstyles come here like, girl, what's wrong with you? Be like, girl, I ain't got no sleep. I keep having these dreams. And listen, they probably not in here. Your hairstyle is gonna be like, I don't know. I keep having this dream that this fat white dude keep chasing me around with two Revere blow jars. Talk about let let me suck in your nipples. Like I it's I don't understand. She gonna be like, I, I keep having this dream. I'm just caught in this bag with all this conditioner and the two dudes from from uh Wizard of Oz. They keep we represent the lollipop kids. I don't know what to do. That's what they're gonna be saying, and I'm gonna pray it every day. I'm praying this shit every night until y'all stop. You think I'm playing? I'm not. They don't. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm not. 
I'm not. Y'all hair is y'all glory, but y'all putting your hair in the damn glory hole. It's your glory, all right. Literally done with saying, I'm here for real crying, not mushkin kids. I'm not, I'm dead ass serious. Just as crazy as I sound is how crazy you sound. I'm going to put, oh my God, guys. I'm going to put my hair in this hole and press the button and hope for the best. Ready, set, go. Oh, my God. Wow. Y'all all look special. And again, I hope it's the all and specifically he got to be old, missing the hair in the middle, real big, real fat, no shirt on, one of them had titties that jiggle up and down. Old, fat, pink nipples, chesty all around with the Revere blow dryer. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I want. I'm sick of y'all. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. As an esthetician, I get the frustration. People put in Colgate and apple cider vinegar on their faces. Oh, mm. It's, listen, y'all putting apple cider vinegar on y'all faces too is literally deteriorating your skin. And as a, as, I never even thought about that, esthetician. I am so sorry because I see that all the time. And y'all all getting y'all facial recommendations from YouTubers that ain't learned shit about the face. And meanwhile, estheticians just got to look like, oh my God. And then y'all using all of these facial products and then wondering why y'all face is breaking out. Y'all not supposed to have. 30,000 layers of a product on y'all face every day. Girl, yes, jiggly nipples. Jiggly nipples. Yes. So, hopefully, none of you end up in this situation. Hopefully, none of you end up constantly having dreams on a nightly basis about getting chased around by a fat man with pointy pink nipples you know hopefully that doesn't happen hopefully you do not get chased down by fruits and vegetables hopefully that does not happen to you all of the things but just know i'm gonna be praying for it do you think it's possible to heal scarring on the scalp from alopecia oh yes absolutely scarring alopecia is healed all the time i i have um a video about a client who has got scarring alopecia that we reversed I'm scared of the hair dryer. I would never use it. I use rose water. Okay. I love y'all so much. We've been on here for three hours and some change. We're not doing a four hour boy today. But. <laughs> We're not doing a four hour boy today. <laughs> but listen, you, you know, because you have real cosmetologists. And I'm pretty sure they be talking the same stuff. I don't care. Like, I'm over it. I'm over it all 2022. I mean, it's not 2022. 2024. Fin mean. Yes, she is. I mean, to all of the nippleologists and all of the, the people who want to put fruits and vegetables in their hair. Yes, I am. I mean to you. And I wish the <laughs> that old white man with no shirt on trying to put your nipples in a blow dryer. I hope he chase you and, and, and don't stop until you stop promoting that shit. Hmm? Okay. I love y'all so much. Hopefully, y'all won't have to go down this path. And again, this not to everybody else. This is to, that was to cosmetologists specifically because y'all know better. We spent two years in school for y'all to get out and start telling people stupid stuff. I, I don't got time for the bullshit. Okay. I love you too. Thank you guys so much for chilling and relaxing with me. I will see you guys. Well, I'm not going to see y'all, but y'all will see me in a video tomorrow. Hopefully me and my husband will um, get the computer together tonight. The video tomorrow is going to be about frizz and how frizz happens in the hair, how to control it, 
And we will also be talking about the cuticle of the hair shaft and why porosity is so important. In the video that's coming tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys a visual representation of what your cuticle actually looks like because you guys have to really understand why hair products are important. And in the video that's coming tomorrow, it is the intro. It is going to be part one of how I feel about silicones because any cosmetologist that is in here knows that knows how silicones work on the hair and that they're not the bad guys so in part two part one's tomorrow part two i'm breaking down it's going to be a talking head video where you'll like see me and i'm talking to you and i'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about silicones and why silicones work uh demonized by the team natural community and yes parts and bits and pieces that they gave you were true but the majority of it was a lie there was one portion of silicones that was outlawed in another state but it's literally one little itty bitty bit and piece that you guys really don't know so i will be breaking that down and i'm going to explain to you why i love me some silicone in uh products okay so we're gonna be getting into that give me a two if whether or not you are excited about me talking about silicones real quick number two because if i don't get enough twos maybe we won't even do the whole silicone thing i don't know because if people are so like anti no silicones are bad but that's what we're getting into so um make sure that your post notifications are on all right make sure your post notifications are on because you never know like when i do the hair content youtube sends out all of the views like if i do i mean all of the views all of the notifications if i do um my like a reaction to my older silk press videos for whatever reason y'all get all the notifications but if it's like a talking head video you may not get the notification as fast so everybody make sure they subscribe and turn on their post notifications so you will catch your girl tomorrow and the next day and the next day because i don't care and sweet dreams Remember, if you see that fat man chasing you in your dreams, I sent him.